Okay, I think we're about ready, please. We're, yes. Okay, good. No issues! The screen didn't freeze. The camera didn't freeze. No issues right now, yay! We don't have a crash. Everything looks fine to me. As far as I can tell, the audio's fine. I think we're good. Oh, oops. Bump the TV. Okay, let me swap it over. <clears throat> All right, so. So one thing that I learned, so now that Yoshi's on the front here, apparently uh, to, the color of the Yoshi on the title screen will actually change depending on what Yoshi partner you actually have. I just happen to have the green one, which let's be honest, that's the canon one. Not necessarily saying that's the best des Yoshi design, but that, yeah. And I also looked up and I found out that there are no other Yoshi colors. It's the same six as the original game. I was kind of hoping they would add a couple more, but oh well. Okay. <clears throat> Last time on Thousand Year Door, we went through Chapter 3 and became the world champion of the Glitz Pit. And we decided to defeat Macho Grubba by Sleep Cheese. We did all the troubles around town afterwards, doing a few bits of backtracking. And now we are on our way to chapter four. But before we actually do chapter four, there is one other thing I'm gonna do beforehand. Last time, uh, you know, we got access to this upper area. And we have access to basically the lore dump. How much money do I have? Okay, plenty. I have plenty of money. We have access to this person who will give us lore. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. Let's go through these. Why not? We get some lore. Ages ago, a city flourished here in peace and splendor. But it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim a great calamity befell the city, but nay, t'was a demon. So you're telling me Ganondorf's involved? Okay, I get it. <clears throat> the city sank below the below ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take out, to take the land. And its den, its palace, grew rich with the treasure stolen from all over the world. If there is another tale you wish to hear, just ask. And luckily, since I paid for it, I can listen to it any time. The, he the hero who rose. One day there came a hero who, van who could vanquish the fell demon. The young toad from Petto Meadows was strong of arm but shy of voice. All those around the boy teased him endlessly about the way he spoke. But when the demon cast its fearful gaze across the land and reached out, the lands it reached out, the young toad used his strength and honor to defend his people. And he became a hero to all despite his odd voice. There was a wise Goomba from Bogley Woods, gifted in knowledge of the world. When beasts rose to take the woods, this knowledge helped the people fight them. And this Goomba, who knew the way that was every mo the way that every monster would attack, she began to think of a way to banish all monsters from the land. How come it's always Goombas that have like the tattle ability? It's always Goombas. A Koopa who traveled the world alone learned of the darkness covering the land. He went alone wherever evil dwelt and banished it with shell and sheer bravado. The monsters grew to fear this scar-riddled Koopa who thwarted them at every turn. 
But the brave Koopa was finally taken in a trap set, by, set for him by the monsters. But then Abu, who fought with the monsters, came and used her magic to free him. The brave Koopa spirit had melted the heart of the cold blue lass. Come on. One more. The Boo used her powerful magic to learn more about the evil they face. We cannot destroy this darkness alone, she decided. She decided her, her face a grown mask. We need the Toad Hero from Petal Meadows and the Wise Goomba of Bogley Woods. The Boo's magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from the world. And so the four heroes finally set out for the Palace of Shadow. So a Toad, a Goomba, a Koopa, and a boo went to go and def go and fight this demon that was a part of the calamity that was the kingdom of Rogueport. I think more gets added to Oh, you know what I've been forgetting to do? I've been forgetting to check these. The Red Gonzalez rules. He may even be stronger than Prince Mush. Yeah. The Great Gonzalez crown champion of the Glitz Pit. But he turned down the belt. I for I've been forgetting to check those. There's always something new in between chapters. Not bad. Oh, and by the way, I looked up online to see if I was misremembering. So, at his part of the story right now that he talks about, he talks about uh, just uh, putting on a wedding dress to disguise the himself as the sacrifice. That's still, that's still true. However, what Jerry says here, his reason for joining, I was right. It is different. In this one, he says, Luigi in high heels just kept tripping and falling over and kept bumping into everything and everyone. So he joins just so Luigi doesn't put on high heels again and cause problems. That's why Jerry joins here. In the original GameCube version, granted, I don't know about the Japanese text, so I couldn't really find that info. He he's going because he's terrified of he was terrified of Luigi in a dress. It was that it was that terrifying. And he's joining Luigi so that he would never put on a dress again. Because uh, uh, Luigi in a dress is just that terrifying. I don't I don't know why they changed it. I have theories, but I'm going to leave it at that. But it it has been changed. Kind of like the cat calling thing. That is changed. But for now, we need to head to chapter 4 on the west side. To Twilight Town. What? <laughs> the pipe rejected me? That's possible? What gives, you lousy pipe? We gotta tell the professor about this. Well, now we gotta head back to Frankly. Because we literally cannot get to chapter four. What gives? So yeah, I was hoping that uh, there would be more Yoshi colors. There isn't. That's sad. Uh, but to get the Yoshi, it's still the same as the GameCube. It's about a certain amount of time from getting the egg. Uh, however, one thing that I found out you could do is you you don't have to get the egg, Yoshi egg right away. You can hold off on getting the egg. Then fight the the Iron Adonis twins your first time and lose. And then once you do that, you can go and grab the egg then and then make your save. And then the egg will hatch as soon as you accept accept the uh, the rematch for the Iron Adonis twins. The Yoshi egg will just immediately hatch, basically. So if you want to basically just grab the egg and set the timer, you can immediately just do that to get whatever Yoshi color you want. I don't know if you could do that in the GameCube version, but you can do it here. Well, I mean, I don't know if you can't get the... if you could get the egg later, is more what I mean. 
Yo, Professor, we found your pipe, and that thing's all things all stopped up. We tried and tried, but we can't break through. Got any drain cleaner? What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. Hmm. I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course. I've heard a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rookport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, um... Dang, what was it? Ah, yes! The lover of dark places! Darkly! I've seen him loitering around here in the in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly. We have met Darkly before. Right over here. Get my coin. Hi there. The name's Darkly. I'm from Twilight Town. Do you guys need something? Huh? You can't get through the pipe to Twilight Town. Well, shucks. It's usually no sweat. You need... You just need to have something that has your name written on it. You don't have anything that has your name written on it. Come on, everyone does. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it here on the seat of your overall overalls. M-A-R-I-O, right? You think that uh, the M on his hat doesn't count? You can't use initials. There. Perfecta Mundo. I'm at it. I'll write your partner's name, too. What's your name? Ooga baby! Hey, watch where you're drawing, buddy! I don't know what errands is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Alright, now we can go to Twilight Town. Now we can actually start Chapter 4. Oh yeah, so far I saw like two, in my opinion, two clear cases of censorship in this game when compared to the GameCube version. Uh, you can have your theories, I don't, yeah. I, the reasons why, I don't know, but you know, you have your theories, right? Until you can get full confirmation and that's not gonna happen, you know that. Alright, chapter four. Chapter 4, For Pigs the Bell Tolls. Let's get it started. I always love the look of Chapter 4 of Twilight Town. It's always an, it, it's, it's a nice aesthetic. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You come from far away? Yeah, those clothes of yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Oh, geez whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear. And scary, and scary to tell, too. Oh no, the bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Oink, oink, oink. Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo, weirdo town? Oh, badness. Now poor Gloomer got turned into a pig. Not good. Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dwar. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but you but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for telling tales, sadly. Come, come to my house. This, they must be like, I almost think they're like doll people because look, like his head's burst open and it kind of looks like there's almost like a, I would say like it would be some sort of doll-like person i don't know don't really know much about these people honestly my traveling fl friends welcome to twilight town well i'd like to welcome you but welcoming people is generally a good thing and it's nothing but bad here as you may have guessed our town has been cursed whoa cursed 
Yes, curse. That's the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building, the creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there is... Its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the twilighters living in the village becomes a pig. Will my, lo will my loved ones become swine? I t will I, too, become a curly oinker? What the? Who cur oh, no! The bell got you, too, Act! Oh, no, now you're a pig! Oh, no, we gotta fix this. <laughs> will my loved... Well, will my loved ones become swine? Will I, too, become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried. I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. I wanted to do the little chunk. Yeah, um... There wasn't anything past... At least from what I saw, there wasn't anything past Gen 6, so that wasn't really an option. Uh... So yeah, that's, that's just how it is. Alright. Uh, if this keeps up well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you get to get pigified. We're not get not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. I'm sorry, I got distracted. But how how's it going to act other than being turned into a pig? How's it going? Maybe you heard of it. It's, it's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Huh? I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Whoa! Are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be! <laughs> yeah, just speaking oinks, and then just have it in parentheses. Uh, you people, you aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? <laughs> Unthinkable. Let me swap to Gumbella. How come... Hold on, I'm checking something. How come this is not, um... How come I'm not, like, getting... Like the panel. I'm sorry, I, um... Maybe I need to... Like, if I wanted to change my, uh, stream avatar, I don't know why I can't do it here, but okay, well... Maybe I would have to go a different route. Yeah, things changed. A anyway. Okay, let's see. Um, this is Twilight Town. It's Twilight here, which I, I guess it makes sense, huh? That big moon gives me the heebie-jeebies. I guess the sky here is always the same. No morning, noon, or night. Wouldn't perpetual dust get a little, like, boring? That's the Twilight Town Mayor. He doesn't seem too reliable, though. I guess he's been through a lot, though. So maybe I ought to cut him some slack. My, my family and friends have all been turned into pigs. That's not a good thing. This is the village where we all were born, after all. We can't just leave. But yeah, there wasn't a little chunk. There wasn't anything past Gen 6 last time I checked, so... I mean, I occasionally checked here and there just in case, you know, they update, but... There hasn't been anything. Yeah. They're just normal birds. Oh. Gubella doesn't have anything to say about the birds. Let's see. This pig also used to be a Twilighter. That's, this is all just totally tragic. Does she say some shiny per Isn't it just like a normal pig colors for shiny Luchonk? Like the just the pink colors? That's Gloomer, the pig. I mean, Gloomer, the guy who got turned into a pig. When I think about him having to live like this, I get oinked up. I mean, choked up. And do you say something different for this pig? That's a Twilighter who got turned into a pig. He seems like a happy guy, even as a pig. Some people are just like that, I guess. She has something different to say about each of the pigs. That's great. Living in, living in this dark place, it's so depressing, you know. 
I don't really care if I turn into a pig or not. That's a local Twilighter. I have no idea if he or she's gloomy or jolly or what. Oh, so we don't know. Okay. I mean, I guess that's pretty awesome. That's a pretty optimistic looking person. But what do I know? Is there something here? What is this? Why does it look like there's like something to pick up right there? Anyway. But yeah, what's been going on, Act? What's been going on? How soon are you going to try to do, uh... Uh, what was it? Shadows of Valentia. Will it feel weird to turn into a pig? Do pigs feel stuff? I'm not looking forward to this. This is Twilight... Oh, no. Talk to the person. That's another Twilighter. He seems to be stuck on some dark thoughts. Hopefully he won't worry himself sick. That could turn out worse than what you're afraid of sometimes. Ain't that the truth. Oh, right. I keep thinking to just press A to examine the the, the bushes. I forgot I have to hammer the bushes again. Oh, hey, a fire flower. I could make some spicy soup if I wanted to. But, um... We don't need more than one in, in coupon. Honestly, I barely use the actual ins anyway. Let's see. Anything else here? Okay. Do you say something different? As a toy editor who got turned into a pig, this guy, I, I bet he didn't think he'd ever be forced to sniff out truffles, huh? Do you just say you refresh your body and soul at the end, 10 coins? I should probably use inns. I don't remember which inns uh, these classify, but some inns let you give you an item. Like, just for staying there. Kind of like in the first Paper Mario, when you stay at the inn at the... Oh, what was it? At Shiver City. You, that's how you get potatoes. But I don't remember if, if there are any inns that do something similar. Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. Food, please. Okay, they all just talk together. What do you have to say? I haven't been able to buy food for my children since my husband turned into a pig. Now they're all hungry. What should I do? I mean, there's plenty of pork to go around. Kind traveler, if you have some spare food, you should share it with us. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I have something. How about this mushroom fry? Oh, thank you so much! You've made my children very happy! And me as well. It's not much, but please take this as thanks. Oh, we get a shooting star! That's a good item. Oh, and kind traveler, where do you hail? Oh no, she's a pig! <laughs> I mean, I gave her mushrooms. <laughs> hey, are pigs good and eaten? Oh my god, this kid is willing to eat her own, <laughs> their own mother! <laughs> Hey, fix my mommy! Mommy, you're a piggy! I know she didn't turn into a pig just to, to- I know she didn't turn into a pig to feed her hungry children. That would be too gnarly. But that is some spooky timing, I swear. That's the oldest of the three brothers. They're all close in age, so he's not much older. That's the middle of the three brothers. The middle child is so middle child, you know. Does that even make any sense? That's the youngest of the three brothers. Hmm, not that I can really tell just by looking. Jeez, and the, the youngest one is willing to just eat his own mother now that she's a pig. That's dark. I feel like I've met these pigs before. How's that possible? All right. What do we got? I think it's safe not to talk to them, but, you know. This little fellow seems oddly rea relaxed, don't you think? Something tells me this is not a normal pig. Gee, when you saw other people turn into pigs, this one is not normal? Hmm. In this village, the moon is really all we can rely on. It can even grant ri wishes. Don't let me turn into a pig. Don't let me turn into a pig. I'll even give up bacon. That's a local Twilighter. 
He's he's pretty into how important the moon is here. I gotta admit, it sure is prominent in the dusk in this dusk, but he still may be a werewolf. I like the sound of this pig's oink. It's got it's got a nice bass tone. What? Is that weird? <laughs> What do we got? Yes, I'm a novelist, and I and I read several books a day. Not all pop-ups book either. <laughs> I wonder if pigs can read. I'm a bit concerned about it, to be honest. That's a novelist who lives in Twilight Town. I wonder what kind of novels he writes. I can't believe people actually read in this town. The light would kill my eyes. Let's see. I already talked to you. Let's go in the item shop. More pigs. That's the shop manager who's now a pig. Yuck! What a totally awful fate. Oh, a customer. I'm sorry. We're not open right now. Huh? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig. My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. We got in a fight before he left, and I had called him a chauvinist pig. Was that the original line? I don't know if that's the original line. I just don't think that might have been used in the original GameCube version, but you know, I, I can't I I can't check it right now. And now he really is a pig. But he has a sweet side too, like cooking my favorite food, you know. And when he su suffers, get I can't read. <laughs> He's got so many wonderful things about him, you know. I wish I could to call him money. I know what I could do without dying. I can't read these. And Mario's falling asleep. These are all too fast. I can't read these. Yeah. So, um, are you even listening? So, hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take whatever you want from the storeroom, if it might help, you know. That's the wife of the Twilight, Twilight shop manager. They run this place together. She seems, uh, it, it, she seems like she really loves her husband, you know. That's so sweet. She seems kind of in, indecisive sometimes, though. Well, we can't get into the back room. What's that? The storeroom's locked. My husband must have taken the key with him and lost it in the woods. <laughs> Yeah, we can't get back there, but we'll take her up on that offer. This is Twilight Town. The people here are just as shadowy as the sky. I wonder if I'd get that way if I lived here long enough. Gross. Still, I guess being all gothed out is better than being a pig. What the? Huh? He rejected me. This was not here. I think we're gonna find out what that does later. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what somebody said. If you still want to go, th if you still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Ha! Huh, we've heard that one before. Nasty monster. Please. Well, whatever, gate guy. Let's go ask Mario. Oh, I want to hear his, like, uh, text crawl thing again. That sounds very similar to, like, Sans from Undertale's, like, uh, text permission, but, uh, not permission, uh, text, uh, sound effect, whatever. That's the gatekeeper of Twilight Town. There's a guy like this in every town, huh? If there weren't, you'd go wherever you want and beat the game so fast. <laughs> never mind. Let's never speak of it again. I mean, Goombella, have you ever heard of speed running? It's probably a trick. Oh, the bell rang, Mario. That w that means someone's gonna... <sighs> At least not me this time. Imagine if one of the partners actually got turned into a pig. Just imagine that. Oh, yeah, it it's a cool design detail that the... Oh wait, no. You got more. Whoa, this ain't good. You don't, don't, don't you think this pig is the mayor? 
What are we gonna do now? We need that dude's okay to pass through the gate. Hold on, does Gumbella say anything new? Now that he's a pig? Even the mayor got turned into a pig. At this rate, we'll all be pigs soon. And then, maybe even us. No way! Yeah, I think how the curse works is whoever hears the bell when it rings. I think that's how it works. But yeah, it's cool that the title screen will actually change the Yoshi color depending on which one you get. I mean, that's a cool detail. Oh no, the bell rang again. Oh no! The gatekeeper's a pig! Whoa, the gate guy's gone! Oops, nope, not gone. The stubborn dude's a pig. Well, hey, that's actually pretty sweet for us. No pig's gonna get in our way. That's the gatekeeper who's been pigified. I feel bad, but I guess we can pass freely. So, uh... Either he doesn't care about guarding the gate anymore now that he's a pig, or when you turn into a pig, you just actually become pig. I'm assuming you just become pig. Oh, right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It looks like you push this. There we go. Ah, uh, another black key. Let's see. Let's grab that. Nothing there. There's, you know what? There's probably something on top. Here we go, new enemy type. Oh, I'm listening to the music. I like the music. I like this remix. What do we got next? Alright, okay, that's a hyper Goomba, which means um, it's hyperactive Goomba. It's a hyperactive Goomba. Duh. HP 8, attack 2, defense is 0. But if this guy goes bizow and charges up, his attack power will be 8 next turn. So you better wipe it out before the time it charges up and takes and the time it takes to attack. If you can't beat him, then run away, okay? So, what is my options? I think power jump is now a power 7. I could lower the attack, or I could put one of them to sleep. Hmm. I think putting one to one to sleep is the best option. Okay. Okay, you're charging up. Good. Okay. This ain't that bad. So now what I can do is I can have Gumbella. Actually, let's have someone else. Let's go... Let's go Uga. Alright. I didn't time it right, but that's okay. Five damage, it's all good. Actually, yeah, Goom uh, Ugump does more damage than Gubella. Alright. Uh, I think we could just do a normal attack. Since the other guy's asleep. It's not a big deal. We could leave him alive. There we go, we got the super guard. And Yosh for the win. He's still asleep as he got to zero, and then he reacted after the fact. I like this remix, it's a good one. Got a mushroom. What do you mean? I oh, yeah, a uh, shooting star. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of one of the dizzy dials. I'm probably not going to use it. All right. Anything? Ooh, our first super mushroom, which we will use. We'll take with us. Uh, I should really put stuff in storage. Uh, I guess I'll... Uh, mushrooms are easy to get. I'll just toss the normal mushroom. 
Let's see. Okay. So I still got to tattle one of the Paragoombas. I am gonna put one of them to sleep. There we go. And now we are gonna swap back to Goombella. I am going to tattle on the Hyper Paragoomba. That's a Hyper Paragoomba. It, it's basically just a Hyper Goomba with wings. Max HP 8, attack at 2, defense is 0. After charging up, you'll be dealing with moves that have the attack power of 8. Once you jump on it, it will lose its wings and turn into a regular Hyper Goomba. Not that that's all that cool. Even normal Hyper Goombas are dangerous. Okay, you're charging up. And you're charging up. Okay, this is one thing I was worried about. So I can only take down one. So I am going to sleep stomp the one at full HP. There we go. And now, swap back to Ugum. And get rid of the one that's awake. If I was using Hammer Man, I would totally love to use Fire Drive. Fire Dive. Or Drive. Uh, I find that to be really useful to get them burned. I remember getting them burned really helps speed this up. But Sleep Stomp is the next best route if we're doing Jump Man. Granted, I don't have Hammer Throw, so it would be nice to actually have that. No flowers. I, I think I'll grab those in a minute. Okay, so I have to use my hammer. And, oh, wait. I can't use my hammer. Okay. This is going to be different. What am I doing? Bella. First, towel. This is where I really want Spike Jump. That's a Hyper Spiky Goomba. It's a Hyper Goomba with a spike on his head. HP 8, attack 3, defense is 0. After charging up, its attack power rises to an incredible level of 9. That's scary. Beat it before it attacks, or you'll be in peril before you know it. Seriously, I'll probably be dead before that happens. If only this book listed a way to dodge that attack. Look, I have 10 HP. <laughs> That's not... Yeah. I think you'll be my best bet to... Oh, I like Power Lift, but that's not going to help me right now. Let's get Earth Tremor going. There we go. We got the full six damage. Okay, you're charging up. Oh, great. Both are charging up. So, you're at two HP. Let's go to Coops. Power Shell. There we go. Got them both. That was like the only way I was going to survive that. So, yeah. There's going to be problems whether I pick Hammer Man or Jump Man. But, there's we can work around it. Oh, look, a key. Alright. Uh, let's get Gumbella.
This is this pig is a twilighter. The shock of being cursed made him lose his way, I bet. This is Twilight Trail. Looks like some serious spooky woods over there. I hear some of the villagers go there to collect herbs. That's totally reckless. I never go someplace uh, like that on my own. Not for a million coins. Really? Oh, you know what? She has a point about million coins. We can only carry like 999. Actually, it kind of looks like in this game, it looks like they might have bumped the total. Kind of looks like there's another spot. Some, But still, that's too many coins to carry, Goombell. You probably have a point there. You'd be ripped off. Unless it could go straight into a bank account, you know what I mean? All right. This is why I trail. Kind of the depressing, kind of a depressing little road, don't you think? I feel like something bad's gonna be at the end of it. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just superstitious. All right. So let's go to the shop. We'll use the key. Can I access the storage? Well, go ahead and use the storeroom if you want. Feel free to take whatever you want out of there as well. It's a good trade for getting my husband back, I think. She's not letting me access storage. Oh, and I... I want to save some of this. Fine. I didn't want to actually grab it. Um... Let's just get the curse. Wait, 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 Hold wait, on! Wait, hey, wait, who's wait, there? I just heard a voice. Wait, 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 There's no way that people could be here. Seriously, that's just so unlikely. Wait, 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 huh? Wait, 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 What's that you say? You've seen a chest like this before. Get out of here! No, no, no! I'm not. I'm not like those chests. I, pl I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. What eyes? Have, have I opened 1,000 doors yet? Um, I don't even know if I opened a hundred doors yet hot corn dog. I'm not sure about that. Uh, so we're, we're, we're working on that. We're working on that. <laughs> you see, it's not a single door that's a thousand years old. The goal of the game is to open a total of a thousand doors, you know. That's the alternate title. That's the bootleg version of a thousand year door. <laughs> I'm not serious. I'm not, seriously. Just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. How's it going, hot corn dog? It's a good thing you haven't been turned into a pig yet. Though. It, it happened to act, you know, so uh, you're you're a little lucky right now. What? Come on. You know how ridiculous you sound right now, right? I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you. But it's not so much a curse as a... Well, a run really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go to special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Hmm. Oh, come on, please. Just find this key and open the chest, okay? I know it's near this town somewhere. I just can't go look for it myself. Because I'm in here. So pretty, pretty please. Wait, is that... Oh my, oh my! You already found the key! Oh, happy day! Let's go open them up. It's a special move, right? We fools! Why do we keep falling for this? What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? I mean, are you talking? Or are you referring to Toadette? Now I'm gonna hit you with the King of Curses, the cursiest curse ever! Fear my terrible power. You will know the pain of having your body roll up really small. Be cursed! Wee! <laughs> now you're cursed, loser. Savor, savor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. You'll be forced to roll around as a tacky tube. Wee! <laughs> your suffering amuses me, and so I laugh. Now show me your cursed plight so I can laugh at uh, laugh all the more. Just press and hold ZR and rotate the left stick repeatedly. <laughs> your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. When you're in that form, you must roll everywhere like some embarrassingly, embarrassingly extruded wheel. I want I want to get a good long look at the you in this painful 
pitiful form. Now roll, roll like a drop butterscotch on a sidewalk. <laughs> well, do you see how pitiful and tubular you are? Well, the suffering becomes too much. When the suffering becomes too much, press B to revert to your normal self. Don't forget. So tell me, do you understand your eternal, centrical agony? Agony. I leave you to suffer, fools. We. <laughs> Starting another fallout playthrough. Oh yeah, another one. Unarmed power armor is the goal. Sorry, one like the water farms I plan to use for money. Also using this playthrough to get the last ending since so we got their escape glitch. Couldn't do that ending. Oh wow, that's an that's annoying, isn't it? You opened the storeroom, I see. Feel free to take whatever you want out of there. That's a good trade for a chance for my husband to come back. Let's see. No sense in fretting over it though. I should get the store ready for business. Sure, wish my husband is back to normal form to help me run the place now. Can we actually store stuff now? Come on. Ah. Uh, I, okay, you know what? I, I'm gonna run back to Rogueport and put stuff in storage so I can grab some of those things. So, unarmed power armor, what does that mean? Power armor is like the main armor you get, right? So are you trying to not use the armor? Or are you trying to go fisticuffs? Yeah, you know what? Let's put stuff in storage. I only have so much space, and there's some pretty good items there that I want to keep. Oh no, I'm struck first. Oh, I... I I guess I'll finish the fight, I guess. Yeah, the, I didn't really want to do this fight, but whatever. I'll probably use the end at Twilight Town when I get back. Get my FP restored. Alright, let's go to the shop, put stuff in storage, and then we'll run back. I have a feeling... Maybe after this chapter, we might do another run of, oh, I'm sorry. We'll do another run of the Pit of 100 Trials, I'm thinking. Not saying this, this uh, stream, but I think it might be a good idea, a good idea to try to get halfway through the Pit of 100 Trials. Okay, let's see. Let's, uh, actually, I can use the Super Mushroom. Let's see. Let's put the dry bouquet, because that might be useful. Fire flower. Yeah, we'll throw that in. Let's keep the ice storm. It might be useful for later. I have a feeling power punch might be useful for later. I want to save it, and we'll throw the dizzy dial in. All enemies, all enemies. Let's keep these two. Koopa T is good to get some FP back. And let's throw the life mushroom in, because I'm just going to grab another one. That's probably good. Alright, time to head back. And as you see, Hot Corn Dog, I am in the colors of Wario. This is Wario, uh, Paper Wario, and the Thousand Year Door. You know, I'm kind of surprised, like, Wario has not appeared in, like, any of the RPGs. I kind of wish he showed up, because it would be funny. But it almost feels like the RPGs just kind of not forget some characters. It's just like I have a feeling like they could easily utilize certain characters, but they just haven't. Like for example, uh, one thing I thought of uh, in the Mario and Luigi games, when you know before Alpha Dream got bankrupt, uh, in the final in the final game, uh, Paper Jam. They, uh, in that game, the gimmick was you have Mario and Luigi and you have Paper Mario on your team. Uh, and the Paper Mario is more of the sticker star variety of Paper Mario, not 
Bowser in the door. But how that worked was you do Mario moves and jumping with A, Luigi with B, Paper Mario with Y. I thought, what if we do one step thir further in, like, a new Mario and Luigi game where it's, oh, the store's open now. Oh, let me guess, I had to leave and come back in to access? Okay, that's dumb. Let me grab everything. Jam and Jelly. Life Mushroom. Jam and Jelly's really good. That's going in storage. Ooh, Defend Plus. That's not bad. That's a really, that's a good one for what I'm, I need. Just a basic defense boost. So yeah, why not go one step further? Uh, if there was another Mario Luigi game, what if it was on your team, you have Mario Luigi and you have Wario and Waluigi. So the jam and jelly in there and I think we'll keep everything else. I guess I need to leave and come back in. I didn't need to run all the way to Rubport. I mean, in uh, Partners in Time, you know, X and Y were Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, so it's not, like, out of the question of having four party members. It's just in, more in that one, you just constantly swap between the two, whereas with Paper Jam, you had all three with you at all times. Let's stay at the end. But, you know, Alpha... I was right! You do get something. Have a nice twilight. You get a peachy peach. I think you can only get those here. If you stay at the inn. I wasn't sure if you got something for staying at this inn, but it's good to know. Let alone, I don't know if you could get something for every inn you stay at. I think I know of one more, though. Let me throw the peachy peach in storage. Uh, let's throw that. See, it doesn't heal that much. You know what? Hold on. Uh, if I check the journal, let me check. Oh, I have chapter three. Yeah, I have chapter three. Let me just kind of get rid of all this new ones here. Wait, what? Battle a certain character to unlock. There's a there's a song I'm missing. Huh. It sounds like I might need to go back eventually, which I probably will at some point. But there's another fight. Can we fight Prince Mush in this game? Is Prince Mush an optional fight? That's like the only thing I could think of. Oh, now I really want to go through that again. Not right now, though. Uh, uh, recipes. I'm not planning to do every recipe. Like, I don't know how much of this game I will actually do. But if I know of certain recipes, I might as well. Wasn't it, uh... Spite Pouch and Cake Mix gave the... No, it was Fury Powder. That's what was one of them. I don't have Fury Powder. Spite, Spite Pouch and Fury Powder gives a, uh... Gives a recipe. Rogue Port today. At noon today, the Excess Express ran late for the first time in 10 years as a suspicious incident act activated station security measures. Area youth and huge train enthusiast Lackey was found taking pictures in an employee-only er area near the Express and was gang-tackled by local Samaritans. I understand how much people are into trains, but we've got safety and security measure to uphold, blustered the train engineer. The youth was released with just a warning. This time, Re <sighs> Japan is all about like punctuation. They get a they uh, send an apology if they're like two seconds late. Like yeah, <laughs> I've seen reports like that. This week we highlight Glitzville Glitzville Souvenir Shop. Though they never attracted as many customers as the nearby hot dog stand, the proprietor is certain is certain that any day now people will in fact notice that his shop exists. Early on in our interview. The owner of the nearby hot dog stand cornered our reporter and has this to say. The souvenir shop is irrelevant to the true hot dog connoisseur with 10 coins to spend. A minor scuffle broke out shortly thereafter, but we're happy to report that no one was seriously injured. Apparently, everyone in Glitchville knows how to roll with a punch. 
Hey there, rookies. Flex your bendy straws because today's recipe is for fresh juice. Just blend honey syrup until you reach a nice frothy texture and enjoy. Try one in the morning to start your day off right. We're just getting started, people. Wait until you see our the glorious next issue. Ah, yes, I already know how to make fresh juice. I've made it before. Alright, time to head back through. Now that we have been cursed. And of course, enemies have respawned. Alright, hold on. This is more of Twilight Trail. A lot of enemies around here, seems like. Hey, by the way, Mario, is it me? Or has the moon been getting bigger? Not that I'm scared or anything, but really. So honestly, I'm very curious on how this chapter is going to go. This chapter is known for backtracking. We'll get there when we get there, but I'm wondering if they fix a lot of the problems that this chapter has. I think I'll grab that later. Actually, yeah, hold on. Let me see if I can grab it now. I didn't know these were coins. There we go. This chapter is known for its backtracking, and I wonder if they're going to fix it. We shall see. Flurry, help me out! Why does it look like there's something back here? There isn't, but it kind of looked like it. Get out of here. I want Yosh. I want Ugump on my team. I'm going to save. All right. So on my own time, uh, uh, I finished my playthrough of Persona 5 Strikers. I was playing that for a little while. And, you know, I beat the game. I did a little bit of post-game stuff, just a little bit. And I'm thinking I might, if I go back to play... Hold on. I know there's, like, a new game plus feature, but I'm thinking I want to wait on doing stuff like that until, like later when I'm kind of like in the mood again. That's a crazy daisy. It may look totally cute, but it's a serious foe. HP 7, attack 2, defensive 0. What you gotta worry about is it's a lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you out. It's true. If you manage to guard well though, you might not pass out. Try to learn the timing. Oh, and when, you're eight, when its HP is low, it runs away. So try to KO it once in one fell swoop. Alright. Let's actually just attack this one right now. Power armor is like the strongest armor type in the game. Okay. I timed it wrong. Okay. Let's go... Actually, I think power jump will be enough. There we go, seven damage. Uh, strongest armor type in the game. It has its own mechanics and what's not and whatnot, so it's not too OP. Or some dude said his sister told him that fusion cores are hard to get, so one shouldn't do a power armor run. And so I'm doing unarmed power armor run, meaning you want to punch things in the armor. Ah, uh, okay. So you're going fisticuffs, but you are still having the power armor, right? But yeah, so, yeah, I was playing Persona 5 Strikers, beat the game, and I'm just gonna maybe come back to it later and do New Game Plus later. So, I have moved on to Tales of the Abyss, because I bought that, like, February. <laughs> I've been distracted by other things. Okay. Um, there's a lot of enemies here. Sleep is gonna be a problem. You know what? Earth Tremor. Yeah, Mario Strikers Charge. Uh, Strikers and Strikers Charged. I actually have the Wii version. Uh, it was fun, but it was very difficult. I only, I have never made it far in that game. But yeah, it does make me think that too. Yeah, it's it, it, it's a fun game. It's just 
Man, it feels it's very difficult to me. Like I have I've only made it through like the first uh, I only got like the first trophy in it. Every time I tried to beat the second one, like it's pretty hard. There we go. But yeah, Persona 5 Strikers is basically a Warriors game. Uh, but unlike other Warriors games, I consider it more of like a Persona or Persona 5 game with the battle style of the Warriors games. It's not like Highway Warriors where it's like, oh, div you know, capture keeps. Hey, look, there's Hammer Throw. You know, go and capture keeps and then defeat the boss at the end, you know, in a small arena, you know. It's not like that. Okay. I am going to get rid of the daisy. I don't have a way to get rid of him. First, let's go Goombella. Let's tattle. That's a hyper cleft. It's basically a cleft that uses charged up moves. HP 4, attack 3, defense 3. When it charges up, its attack power raises to 9. Couple... Couple its rock hardness with its ability to charge up, and things get scary. If you're confident, you may want to try doing super guards to send its attacks back. If you can't, you better do, use some items, or you better hightail it out here. Oh, we get a defense boost. Okay, he's charged up. What a waste of a defense boost. Yeah, Striker's Charge is a game I need to go back and try again. Like, I, I need to actually beat it, you know? I can use Earth Tremor. I can use Earth Tremor. Wait, doesn't Gulp work? Yeah, five damage. Okay. And we gotta level up. There we go. More batch points. Yes, more. All of the batch points. We need it all. But yeah, I moved on to Tales of the Abyss because, you know, I bought that game in like February and I haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, you know what? Since we now have Hammer Throw, wow, defense plus costs a lot. You know what? I'm thinking, let's go Jump Man. Or Hammer Man, I mean. Since now I can hit enemies from the air. So, Fire Drive, Quake, Hammer Throw, Pierce. I mean, that's all I really need. Piercing Blow for ignoring defense. Hammer Throw to hit Airborne. Quake Hammer. Fire Drive. Can I unequip something else? Damage Dodge? Boost Defense by 1 with a successful Guard. For two. I still have Happy Heart. How often do I need Happy Heart? Zap Tap? I mean, I can keep it for now. It's not hurting anything. You know what? Let's unequip Damage jaw Dodge. Put Defend Plus, so that's a basic... That's a basic defense boost. And then put Power Smash. Just a strength... A strong attack. However, if I get a second damage dodge... I think it might be better to just have two of those equipped. Instead of a defend plus. Never own a thing... Was years ago? Never own a game of friendly. At first, I rented it with a friend years ago. But then, eventually... I bought my own copy because I wanted to replay it and see if I could get farther. Spoilers, I did not get farther. <laughs> but yeah, that's a game I need to get back to and try and play it again. Maybe, maybe I'll stream it one of these days. Who knows? 
Yep, still in the woods. It's getting awfully dark around here. If there were, like, a big hole in the ground, you'd probably fall in without seeing it. Flurry would float right over it, so I'm sure she's not worried. Yeah. You know, if, well, if there was a hole in the ground, I would not be able to notice, right? I would just fall right in. See? Falling right in. And then we push this one, somehow pushes both of them, and somehow that one was easier to push than the normal one. Yeah, don't question it. <laughs> Alright, other side. Since I have Hammer Man... There we go. So, I need to use, I need to go for big damage. Well, maybe not big damage. I think I need to go for Quake Hammer first. This way it stops the cleft from doing anything. Power Shell does, I think we're doing three damage. So, if I'm only doing three damage, you know what, let's get Let's get Rebump in here. Now let's just get rid of um, a daisy. Yeah, I don't have too many of the Mario Sports games. Uh, hold on. Oh, I think I see where the timing's at. And of course, I'm asleep. Okay, good at run. Thank you, Zap Tap. Thank you, Zap Tap. You have saved my life. I definitely need healing. <laughs> I didn't think that thing could be affected by Zap Tap. Uh, so I only have a few of the Mario Sports games. Uh, I don't have any of the golf games. I have N64 Mario Tennis. I bought it a couple years ago when I was at the Port and Retro Gaming Expo. I didn't go last year, so I think I got it the year before. Yeah, this is Creepy Steeple. That nasty monster's place. This place wigs me out. Look, Gonzalez. Let's just get that crystal star and get out of here fast. Yeah, well, let's heal up. Uh, so I have N64 Mario Tennis. I want to play... I I did try it, and I was going to play more, but for some reason, uh, the cartridge was just kind of, it would occasionally just reset itself. So, I guess something's up with the cartridge itself, or the 64, I don't, I don't know which. That's the reason why I couldn't continue that. I have GameCube Baseball. And I have the Wii Soccer game. That's a Buzzy Beetle. Oh, uh, that's kind of cute. HP 5, attack 3, defense 4. It's got pretty good defense. And fire and explosions don't hurt it whatsoever. But if you jump on it, you can flip it over and drop its defense down to zero. Then it's at our mercy. Ha! Don't hesitate. Jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Well, I can't jump because of, you know, Hammer Man. But first. There we go. So I just need one of the Golf Mario games, and I would have at least one of each of the sports games. Well, or at least the main ones. Yeah, we got a Shine Spray. How many do I, how many do I have? I have four? Okay, that's good. Oh, uh, there's a lot of them here. So, let's see. I'm just going to use my normal hammer here. And then I'll just let Goombell... Actually, do I even need Goombell for this? Let's go Oogump. I think Oogump will do better, actually.
Yep. And do four damage. Oh no, some of the background fell on me. Yeah, we'll just let Ooh, don't cover the rest. Uh, the hardest part of the power armor is half of the skills I want are in high, are in high levels to upgrade. Ooh, so you're gonna... It's basically gonna be difficult throughout the majority of the game, isn't it? Do I... I think I do want the badge right now, so I think I will try to grab it. Luckily, I think there aren't many to deal with. We don't have to fight too many guys. For a fight, anyway, so we make this work. Oh, yeah, maybe some of the Mario. Uh, some of the Mario Sports games won't be the worst idea to stream. What is that? Tornado jump! And deal extra damage to all midair foes. Okay. It's probably a better... Multi-bounce, I think is the one I'm thinking of. Okay, let's get Cambella in here. This is Creepy Steeple. Seeing it in the moonlight gives me the willies. It looks like a ghost could pop out at any minute. No way am I going in there. Uh, although, since you're with me, Mario, I'll give it my best. Actually, let's go down here and see what she says. Okay, I get to spend most of the time getting money and building stuff, which gets you EXP issue. Making water. It's fine. At least you'll... Okay, so you're going to get a few levels pretty quickly, but then... For a little bit, it's going to be hard to get levels, and it might, uh, it's going to be a while before you get some of your better skills, I mean, I'm, I guess. So it's like, uh, the mid-game levels are going to be tougher for you, probably. This is the whale's bottom, but it seems like to have tried up, which is good for us. This corridor leading out of here smells like a puzzle to me, Mario. I gotta say, I'm out of ideas. I mean, you can't pull it or push it away hammer it what should we do mario hmm, i got nothing i'm thinking we probably just ought to leave it for now talking about the little window there on the right all right now let's move on right. anything else here i don't think so but i think we can open this from the side no no, we hammer it from the side. Okay. Is there anything? Star piece. See, there was something over here. All right. Some type of creepy steeple itself. Maybe the sports games might be an idea, a stream idea to play through. We're inside the creepy steeple. At least the moon provides a little light, you know. This place seems super old, huh? I'd like to research it. As soon as it, as soon as it's not haunted. But if you look back there in the floor, I to see. The only parts you're concerned is fighting those enemies with massive health pools. Currently avoiding death claws, it will take a while to beat them to death. Just because. Yeah, that's kind of more what I'm meaning. You're probably going to be underpowered until you get some of those skills, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. We get a cookbook. Penned by Maitre Delish. That goes to our local chef. Ice Smash. You can maybe freeze foes. Honestly, I'd rather have Fire Drive. I think that's the better skill. Actually, is there anything back here? No. I think Fire Drive is... Oh, there is a star piece. I think fire drive's better. However, being able to freeze someone is kind of similar to maybe, like, putting them to sleep. In that it will stop the enemy from attacking for a few turns. The problem is, because hammers can only attack the enemy in front, I don't think it's as useful as sleep stomp. 
My friends have all been taken away. So lonely. Oh no, not your friends. My friends are all gone. I'm so very lonely. That's a boo. A familiar floaty fluffy ghost. Do you do you think it's stuck in this room somehow? Feels like there's a story behind this. Because of the power armor, you can actually block attacks from large enemies. Only you can't block a death claw swipe. But you can with power armor, I see. Look at the scuffs in the ground. Oh no, we fell! Okay, hold on. We need flurry? Let's get Gumbella back out, because I want to see what she says. Who knew we could get down here from up there? Wow, this room was well hidden. Talk about minimum decor. One jump pad and one door. I think there's, a, think there's anything else. There is. A hidden pathway. With a treasure chest. What do we get? Flower saver. How much? Four. Okay. That's a lot of BP. Could it be useful? Maybe. Saves up on flower points, but I don't know if I need it. It's being the Greek trilogy of God of War. Very nice. Probably going to play Ascension before moving on to the North Saga, but... I s again, I still haven't played any of the God of War stuff. There's so many boos in here. Okay, it's quiz time, interrupter. Just now, when the box opened, how many of us boos came out in total? I think it's 100. I don't think it's 200. It's not 50. Too bad, foolish mortal. The correct answer was 200. Okay, it was. But we'll send you home with this consolation prize. See ya, sucker. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. If you get the correct answer, I think it gives you an ultra shroom. Like, it's really good. It's a good reward, but I don't need it. I don't have the HP to require the ultra shroom. So remember to say 200. Are you going to be mean to me? Uh, yes. The go away, me. Fine. No, I'm not. Promise? Come on out, guys. Second. We can respect our stats. Uh, I think we would have to find the one guy, you know? I think he's hidden in one of the underground areas to respect. But I think that is a thing. Yeah, if you just wait too long, he'll just kick me out. You know, the booze are jerks like that. However... We stand still. We'll start circling. I want to wind this up. Come on. Start grabbing me. There we go. Do that enough times. He, oh, he. You said you'd be nice. Let's get him, guys. Yeah, I think you can respect your stats. I just can't think of the guy that uh, we talked to. Or I don't know where he is. It's like Chet Rippo or something. This is a new song. This is just a straight, this is straight up a new song. That's an atomic boo. It's a it's a giant boo made up of ton of of a ton of smaller boos. HP 40, attack is four, defense is zero. This thing will try to smush us. It's also it can also split up and send hundreds of boos at us. And when we attack, we might get so scared that we get confused or can't move. 
I sure wouldn't want to see this thing staying behind me in the middle of the night. Creepy. Um, kind of wish I had jump man, but I have to hammer throw. Only three damage. That's just what it's going to be for a little while. Yeah, this is just straight up a new song. Okay. I guess with Mario, we'll just hammer throw since I don't have jump mana quick. Let's see. Got it! Bingo! Full refill! Give me my 4 FP back. Yeah, this is a fight I didn't know existed for a long, for a very long time. Oh, oh come on. I guess my defense plus doesn't block against background detail. Four damage? Are you kidding me? It would be five. I think it would have been five. Oh, wait, no, and Mario's stopped. And I can't run. Okay, let's try to shrink him. Okay, I don't think you could shrink him. He's preparing for an attack. I can't mini-egg. What could I do? Try multi-bonk. Try to be good at multi-bonk. Coops can't do anything. Flurry. Gale Force is not going to help. Lip Lock is just for HP. What can I do? I have a life mushroom if needed. I could use my Bushi. Shooting star, gravity star. You know what? Let's use the Bushi. Protect Mario. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Mario's safe for now, and he's got some HP back. All right. Uh, I don't need healing yet. But I have to hammer throw. No, I don't have to hammer throw. I know what I was going to do. Power lift. Going to try to boost my attack and defense. I'm using the D-pad is probably better. Okay, we got a plus four in attack and defense. That will protect Mario. And now, Yoshi, or Oogump, I should say. Let's ground pal. Watch this. Okay, the attack goes down per hit, but still, that's a lot more damage. Oh, is Oogum frozen? No. Okay. And, you know what? Let's just let him have it. There we go. Look at that. I made it work. Power lift is really good. I like using it. You could just boost our stats, you know? And we get Lucky Start. Make something good happen when you first enter battle. Eh. No thanks, I'm good. Alright, let's go back here. Wait, what's my stats at? You know what? Let's tattle the swoop. Come on. 
Let's tile the sloop, and then I'll uh, leave and use the ape heal block. Actually, thinking about it, I don't think I need to do that. No, I don't need to do that. So, first let's tattle. Okay. That's a swooper. I bet they call it because uh, the way it swoops around. Wow! That's some awesome naming work! Seriously, it's pure naming genius! So, anyway... Max HP 6, attack 3, defense is 0. Says here it hangs from the ceiling. If you could just damage it, it ought to drop from the ceiling. And then you can whack it. Alright. So, I'm gonna have to hammer throw. You can quake hammer and hit him from the ceiling. But, I'm just gonna do this. Get him off the ceiling. I could have gotten rid of the one. Oh wow, defense boost. Take him, Bella. Come on. Yeah, super guard. Let's go. All right. No matter what, in both cases, I have to use hammer throw or just waste a turn. Let's just hammer throw. Yeah, you know what? We'll keep going. I think I think I know where the next heal spot is. I don't have to leave. Yeah, let's use a hammer. It's yeah, five damage. That's really good. Okay, first, hammer throw. Yeah, if there were more bats on the ceiling, I would use quake hammer. Go to Ugum, because why not? And we'll get rid of the, the one with more health. There we go. And now, who are you going to attack? There we go, Super Guard. If he attacked Mario, he would have been taken down anyway. Yeah, luckily by now, we have enough badges to really utilize Jumpman or Hammerman and not have to worry about anything. Except we still don't have Spike Shield. We still need Spike Shield. If we go back here, we get a Golden Leaf. 10, uh, 10 FP. Can we just... I think you just have to leave the room and come back to grab more, I think. Alright, uh, I don't want to hit that button. Not yet. Go down here. Actually, hold on. Goombella. Uh, wow, interesting staircase. Hmm, just one staircase, but three doors? What's the story with that, you think? Lazy architects? Oh, okay, I know what that is. Okay, go down here. What do we got? This is the courtyard of Creepy Steeple. Boy, that garden could use some love. Let's hit this button. But yeah, I'm only a few hours in Tales of the Abyss. Uh, I gotta say, I heard mixed feelings on Luke because he's kind of a, an asshole. And it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, at some points I'm like, yeah, I understand what they're talking about. And then other times I'm like, no, he's kind of justified. And other times it's like, why are you being such an asshole, <laughs> you know? I don't know, like, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about Luke. Oh, right, I already fought the booze in, uh... Pit of Hundred Trials. I can't hit him with Coops, so we'll go with Ugon. I think what I'll do is... Oh, Fire Drive. There we go. We'll get rid of this one. Setting the enemies on fire is something I really liked doing in my last playthrough that I played a few years ago. I thought it was really useful. 
Oh no, I can't hit him. He's in the air. He's gonna die next turn anyway. There we go. Done. Yay, more FP. Alright. Go over here. And we need coops. Steeple key. Yep. We needed that key before we go to the northern one. Like, I feel like if I wanted to stream the sports games, I feel like I want to actually beat, at least beat them, but like, I don't know, beating the campaigns once with, just doesn't seem like it would take that long, you know what I mean? Maybe they might be good, like, one-off stuff, you know what I mean? I don't know. Because usually they have stuff like, oh, if you get everything done with this character, now they're there. They're a star character, which means they're better. And there's that part of me that's just like, I, I, I need to get every star character. Should have used my hammer, it would have been stronger. Not that it matters. Not with a single target. Done. We move on here. Steeple key. Is there anything under the staircase? No. Okay. Heal up. Get my full heal. We'll get Gimbella out. Let's make a save. Alright. All the way up the staircase. Up to the very top. And time to go. Hey, hang on there, Slick. What are you doing? Interrupting my me time. This, this is the monster the mayor was talking about? You gotta be kidding me. Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking of new pranks and stuff. It's a lot easy either. Now get lost. Of course you guys won't. No way you ninnies go away quietly. Am I right? Oh, all right then. Slick, fine. Yes, I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. No, act. You're, you're forgetting the twist. Big deal, you big jerk. Why would you do something like that? Well, you know, they're all so depressing and boring and dim-witted all the time. So instead of wallowing in groom, I figured they might as well wallow in mud. Ha! Now they're pigs, get it? Isn't that so perfect? It's like irony or something. So, what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do, so let's play Slick. Oh no, someone else is a pig! The remix sounds very close to the original, right now. Okay, first off, let's tattle on him. Alright, huh? Wow, how totally bizarre. This thing isn't listed in here. There's a monster in here that looks like this thing, but it doesn't list a name. HP 40, attack of 4, defense of 0. Apparently really good at transforming itself in other things. Maybe it uses that power to turn the villagers into pigs. This thing is a real jerk. Alright, since I have Hammer Man, uh, we start with Fire Man. Get him burned. And 
Yuck, yuck, yuck. I guess I'll get down and dirty if you're gonna play like that, slick. Got the super guard. So now that we got him burned. Oh, they extended the song. Oh, that's cool. So we have two options. I could just use my hammer and just do physical attacks like normal. Or let's do a power let's do another power lift. Why not? Yoshi's like the best party member with this strategy. I'm using the D-pad, it's a lot better. Yeah, okay, attack of four, defense of three, that's what we got. Alright. Now we want to just go with the normal attack. We could try mini egg. Eh, let's just normal attack. Could shrink him. Look at that. And let's see... Look for the poison mushroom. Uh, got it wrong. Never mind. Alright. Hmm. Time to regroup here. So, you think you're a couple of heavies, huh? Huh? Well then, my dear friends, if you thought changing to pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this. I've got something very special for you here. I think that's a new expression for Yoshi. How do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people! Now you're fighting yourself! Ha! I'm a dang genius! But you don't copy my badges. Alright, and he's not burned anymore, so let's, uh... Let's fix that, shall we? Ten damage. One grand pal will do the trick. I was thinking of using mini egg, but that's not necessary. Easy. Yep, 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 yep. Hold on. What? What? Huh? You beat me. Oh. Oh yeah, Mario. <laughs> we win. See? That was the boss. Hey, look! It's the crystal star. You got a crystal star. See? <laughs> this is a very quick chapter, you know what I mean? See? Oh, we've done it in about an hour and 40 minutes. This is very fast. Actually, more like an hour and a half with some of the time in the report. Mario defeated the scourge of creepy sequel and found the fourth crystal star. The people of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. With his back to Creepy Steeple, Mario sets sets out toward his bright future. That's it? That's all you got? Man, this guy was a wimp. That wasn't even fair. Well, who cares, right? We gotta ha we got the crystal star, so let's get out of here. Mm, kind of weird. We're not immediately swapping to Peach. The what? Why are we the shadow? That that is a good, legitimate question. Why are we the shadow? I don't remember being able to use his bath last time. Anyway, yeah, for some reason we're a shadow now. I don't know why. Uh, I don't think this was explained. Uh. He can transform into us, like like the Dupa Ghost in the first game, but for some reason, I don't know why, we could, he just swaps, it's like the Ginyu, it's like Ginyu, right? He's able to like transform into us and then he just swaps souls. Well, not much we can really do though, except try to chase him down. 
Meanwhile, back at our town. <laughs> yes, this time we'll we'll take that Mario and get his map. With this Super Bob bomb here, there's no way we can fail. No, not likely. <laughs> Vivian, hand me that glorious Super Bob bomb. Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that huh, mean what I think it does? Uh, I never had it. You were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with. Oh, you terrible liar. Stop making up stories to cover your, for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it. And obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply I lost it, you little lollygagging worm? I... Uh, no, of course not, Beldum. Oh, we can't do much without it, now can we? Oh yeah, you are such an idiot. Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Mary, Mary Lynn and I go take a well-earned siesta? And if you don't find it, well, you know what will happen, don't you? I... I get punished. That's right, you little twit. So get cracking. Come, Mary. Let's leave this useless little fool to her chore. Go. <laughs> I almost have banjo, banjo sounds with Marilyn. <laughs> okay. Now we need to head back to Twilight Town. And you know what that means. Time to run all the way back. This is known for its backtracking for this reason. Oh no. And I'm going to have to play this more carefully, because it's just me. I might be trying to skip some fights. Oh, you know what? I oh, they actually go and fix the lights. That's, that's new. You know what? I should definitely get my heal. I should definitely do that. I didn't realize how low I was. Thank you, Hammerman, for improving my strength. Yeah, it's just Mario right now. It's like the first two minutes of the game. Actually, no. Mario has never... Wait, Goomba? Did Goomba help out Mario like, during that first fight with Crump? I don't know if she did. I don't think she actually did help out. So I was gonna say, this is like the beginning of the game, but no, I think Mario's never fought alone. I mean, Paper Mario 1, he fought alone for a little while, but not here. And yeah, we gotta go get our body back. While dealing with all the enemies along the way. Let's see, it might be worth it to run from fights. Considering that these guys could put me to sleep, I'm actually gonna run. Okay. Yeah. These those guys can put me Wait, I didn't lose coins. Why didn't I lose coins? Did they change that or is that just because I'm by myself? Hmm. Uh, nope, nah, uh, nope, nope, not dealing with this. Run away! Yeah, I definitely need partners to help me out. That Amazy Daisy usually tries to chase you down, so I think they fixed its AI a little bit, so you don't just immediately get into a fight when trying to squeeze through there. Alright. Now you gotta turn. How come I didn't? Oh, I see why I didn't see that. Gotta go into tube form now. Luckily, our shadow is cursed, I guess. It's a lot faster than normal walking, so. There we go. Almost there. Hey, wait up, Slick. Been waiting for you. You're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this body, too. Man, can I jump now? 
And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. And it's so cool. I don't think I'll ever want to stop. So you figure it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. Comes in handy. But to really become someone, I need to take their name and body too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough breaks, tough, tough breaks, Slick. That's not enough either. I aim to erase you for good. I guess it's been unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess, if you guess my real name, I'll give your, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This will be fun, right? Now, guess, what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. Okay. I wasn't sure how they were going to do this, but look, even if you know the name, there's a letter missing. So, honestly, I don't think this joke works as well in this version than in the original. Because every time there is a name choice, like with naming your Yoshi, or on the title screen, you input your name to have on the titles on your file name, even though that does nothing, this keypad will pop up, right? But if you notice here, when we named our Yoshi, it was just the normal Switch, uh text block so honestly this joke doesn't work as well doesn't it but anyway uh we can't continue so i'm uh his name his name uh i'm guessing it's q right I mean, that's his name wrong amundo little nobody who'd name their kid that prepare for doom slick Yuck, yuck, yuck. And don't even think about running from battle, you hear? No running. Let's see. You're not ru thinking about running away, are you? You better not be. Yeah, so they kept the joke, but I feel like the... Like the setup doesn't work. That's just my thought. You know what would make the joke better? In this version? ah, that's so fun! If the Switch menu keypad popped up and the P's not there, that would be funny. That would continue the joke for the modern uh, version. <laughs> now that Mario took care of that cursed monster, I don't have to guard the gate. But here I am, doing it anyway. Yep, just to keep the weirdos out, you know. Yeah, you look kind of weird. If I had to classify you, you'd be a bad guy. I'm not a weirdo, am I? Yeah, I still need to figure out what this is. Nope. Nothing yet. You rejected me. I've been thinking lately. I don't really want to be a pig. But being a crow would be okay. Because then I could fly. No one's ever heard of a flying pig. Oh, it's you. Huh? I do not understand this madness. Perdutua, not at all. I do not get it. I just do not get it. I remember coming here through that pipe. But it gets fuzzy after that, and now I do not know why I'm here. No, not that it's a problem. This young woman is quite fetching, eh? I collect the goods and she sells them. Simple. A good shop, like a good marriage, is depending on teamwork, my friend. So, show your support and buy something. Oh, this is awkward. That pig wasn't my husband after all. This guy is younger and kind of handsome. What a strapping fellow. Perhaps it's time I traded for a new husband. Oh, I'm only fooling. That's that's very cruel of you. Didn't even consider that in the first place. You deserve a bonk. You do as well for no reason. You deserve multiple. Anyway. The curse was oink lifted. That Mario sure was oink something, wasn't he? Uh, I can't stop oinking. What should I oink do? Actually, I, I, I don't think I talked to you. The curse has been lifted since Mario uh, beat that bad, bad ghost. Ah, uh, that perfect yellow cap. The stuff purple... Oh, wait! The dialogue is adjusted if I'm wearing the Wario costume? 
I don't know if that's actually adjusted in the GameCube version. No. That's a nice attention to detail if that wasn't the case in the GameCube version. He's the absolute best. Why don't you turn... Why don't you do something about your appearance and spiff up like Mario, huh? I don't remember if that dialogue changes in the original. <laughs> yeah, I'm a novelist. It's not all that easy in the eyes, but I read by moonlight. So what kind of books do you like anyway? Do you like fantasy? Do you like suspense? Romance? Or strategy guides? I mean, I'm a strategy guy, you know. You know. I like my tips and tw tricks, you know. So shouldn't, you s shouldn't you spend your time reading something a little bit more worthwhile? I mean, he's... <laughs> What a snob. What if I what if I say fantasy? Oh, that's lame. He says the same thing. Ah, oh, that's lame. Kind of wish he had specific dialogue for each. Of oh, do you say something different? I don't. Uh, oh, he was a pig, wasn't he? What? You got your name stolen? Huh? That's a new one on me. Anyway, I'm gonna call you Nameless Frank for now. You need fighting lessons, Nameless Frank. I know my fights. Let me teach you. Secrets of battle. Let me see. Anything new in here? Tornado jump, hammer throw, ice smash. Okay. And details. What else do we got in here that could be useful? About Yoshi, I don't need that. Irrit nozzles? Oh, that's the freeze thing. Yeah, okay. Enemies on the ceiling. Nope, I don't need this. I don't need anything in that. Okay. The moon granted my wish. I never turned into a pig. Someone living on the moon must have heard my wish. Who do you think lives there? Is it a little? Is it little green men or is it Princess Peach? I'm gonna let's say Princess Peach. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> too funny. You must be a dreamer. What an imagination. <laughs> What about Little Green Man? Do you say the same thing? <laughs> ah, lame. Hey, we are the Traveling Sisters 3. Hey, I think we were pigs until a moment ago. No way, we're not pigs. But if we were, we'd be such cute ones, huh? And I'm assuming the mother is back to normal. Yeah. Oh no, he still wants pork chops. <laughs> thanks to Mario, our village is back to normal at last. If you see Mario, you should thank him too. The kid still wants pork chops. He was really debating on cooking his own mother while she was a pig. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Poor me. Uh, maybe later. No, you can get through anything if you have good memories to cling to. Now, if I could just figure out how my days as a pig qualify as good memories. We're free. Yes. We're no longer pigs. I say yoink. No more oink. I just want to sing. You know, people often say that my shadow is faint. But yours is really something. I mean, you are a shadow. No offense or anything. Let's check the manor's house. It's all here. Well, thank you, thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please take this as a token of our thanks. Eat them. They're, they're eating pig. Look, they're eating pig. <laughs> who is that? Who are you eating? Now, who might you be? I don't remember inviting any shadows to my house. Sorry, but Mario's visiting today. If you don't need anything, please leave. Whoa, he, wow, look at me, look at me, it's a me, Mario. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, my, my, Mario's rather dramatic of late, isn't he? To be honest, I rather enjoyed his quiet, dingy, and strength of character. Dignity and strength of character. Boy, Mario sure has gone chatty all of a sudden. I mean, he, like, never talks. Oh, well, I guess it's not too totally weird or anything. Uh, Mario seems kind of different. I mean, he's sort of like the life of the party now, so I guess that's cool. Huh? You want to know if Gonzalez has been acting different lately? I mean, 
guess he's more annoying now. What with all the weird shouts and yuck, yuck, yuck laughing it and stuff. You ought to move in here. A shadow like you. You ought to move in here. A shadow like you, you fit like right in. Know what I mean? What do you have to say? Oink, 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 oink. I'm practicing for big time. If I go to the swine side, I'm going to be more positive. There's mo no more pig curse. You're kidding. Could you give me some time alone? All right. Oh, uh, what? A guy with a yellow cap and some purple overalls. That sounds familiar. Come on, Brain. Oh, yeah, that Mario. He's in this adventurer who saved our village. Are you an adventurer, too? I like adventures. Again, the dialogue's changed for reflecting the outfit Mario's wearing. I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's gonna punch me again. Should be around here somewhere. I just can't find it. Let's see. It's in the grass somewhere. That... Did I not hit that one? I thought... Okay, whatever. Let's see. There it is. Alright, let's hand it to Vivi. I'm looking for something very important. I uh, just can't find it. Oh, well, here's the super ball bomb. What? You found it? Oh! Oh, thank you so much! Thank goodness! At least I won't get punished now. Oh no! It's... it's broken! It must have broken when my sister dropped it. Dropped it. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, why does everything have to go wrong all the time? Here, don't, don't feel bad. Thanks. You're very sweet. That actually makes me feel a little better. What do I do now? My sister will be back any moment. Hey, wait just a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? What? I can't hear you. I think he literally just tried to say his name, but nothing came out. Your name was Solon. Let's see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was Stolen? Well, that's, well, uh, I'm, sh I'm not sure what you call that kind of problem. Which fits, I guess. Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do. And you were worried about me that whole time? That's so kind. All right, that's it. I'm gonna help you get back your name and your body and your friends. Hey, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure if I really want to stay with my sisters anymore. Anyway, we aren't very happy together. Truth is, it took me a while to realize, it took me to realize I was their sister, not their brother. Now their usual bu bullying feels heavier. I also feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. That's the right thing to do. Right? Right? So, <laughs> here we go. And Vivian's joined the party. And we get the ability to hide in the shadows. Enemies won't find us. It's like Bo from the original game. And then we can pop back out. There we go. All done. She, she can, uh, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her shade fist. Or she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her veil move. Sally, it's not as good as out of sight. I guess we need to find out the, uh, that ghost's real name first, huh? That'd be a start. I heard we're gonna get that kind of information. Or how are we? I have sort of an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around, but they're actually really well informed from all that flying and eavesdropping. With my power, we can hide in the shadows so you can listen on their conversations without them knowing. So in addition to villagers, let's also try to get some information from the bir local birds. That's the least I could do for, for you with my powers. Well, now we got Vivian. What the? How did I get a... Oh! The tiny shrub right there. Interesting. Hold on. Okay. 
I didn't know, like, this would actually change things. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, I guess... I guess we could talk about Vivian now that Vivian's joined the party. So, in the original GameCube version, when looking at the English translation, they were saying Vivian is a girl. Biological girl. This is censorship. Hold on. So I was chatting with Rotbeak in Toad Town in, on Instant Messenger yesterday. And he said he's just gone fiber optic on his home network. You believe that? Rat! I bet he's downloading 100 mega, 100 meg apps with no problem on those fat pipes. He's probably surfing that fat, that feather club for crown sites at the speed of light now. Yeah, just blows away all this information age hype you hear about. And yet, it's all games and f feather, feather lost sites that are driving the technology. Yeah, but I, I think tech bus survivors can thrive if they get viable business models so yeah the the english gamecube version specifically that would be considered censorship because it is implied in the original japanese gamecube version that vivian is trans however at least back then there was all there was confusion at least on the translation whether vivian would be trans uh, femboy or I guess just a cross-dresser. Although, based on from what understanding now, trans is most likely translation. Uh, and obviously they uh, made it obvious now, and they also kept it closer to the original translation. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb. It makes me want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under the creepy steeple I hear. It's obvious that saying his real name is his one weakness. So, I wonder how all this is going to end up then. Did you hear that? If we search under creepy steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. Let's go to creepy steeple. Can we do this really st nothing okay fine time to head back to creepy steeple time to head all the way back and oh no it's Mario I've done this back in town but that would have looked very good would it Offer a rematch. So, this is the one that stole your name and body. Hmm, he looks sort of familiar to me. How do you not recognize him? Alright, can the chatter. Here's the deal. You get your chance, then I stomp you. If you guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. Fire away, no name. You know what, I'm just gonna escape. So, that's a nice quality of life. You would have to attempt a name attempt, I guess. He must have been hiding in there in the an in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Don't forget him. Let's go get your name back. So they just let you just run away from him without going to battle first. That's that's a quality of life change. That's very nice. That was not there in the original. You would have to attempt the name, fail, get into battle, then run away. That's just nice. You know what? Let's let's make a save. Oh, yeah. Also, one thing I found out. Uh, so, the th the Shadow Sirens being named the Three Shadows... Uh, the Three Shadow Trio, or whatever the name is in here. Apparently, that's more accurate to, I guess, the original GameCube translation. I guess. That being said, I still think Shadow Sirens is a better name. So, I'm still probably going to end up saying Shadow, Sh Shadow Sirens. I just think the name is better. That's just me, though. I think we can do this. Play Hammer, now that we have Vivian on the team. Now, that guy's gonna stay there. Let's go with Shade Fist. There we go. 
And just the normal punch can burn enemies. And you ran away. Alright. Oh no! I want that item. Yeah, give me the mushroom. But yeah, I knew when this game got announced that no matter what translation they went with Vivian, I knew it was going to cause like an uproar on Twitter. And I was right. <laughs> I was right on that. Eh, Vivian caused problems. No matter which route uh, they would have gone with. But this was more accurate to the original translation, so... That's just what it. That's what it is. Rather, rather have it that way, honestly. Even though I do think that, even though uh, the GameCube version was censored in that aspect, I do think they translated Vivian's story well enough, even though it was censored. Let's go with Wake Hammer. And, oh, I have to shake this. There we go. I thought I had, for some reason, I thought I had the second ability, but no, I didn't. Why give me the defense boost? Wait, that was pointless. That was a waste. Gotta use another Quake Hammer. There we go. Uh, not enough to level up. Even if I fought another four, that wouldn't be enough. I just realized I did not fight the spiked ones yet. Oh well, I don't have Gumbella with me. Yeah, I should have fought the spiked one. Oh well. We'll fight it later. It'll, it's probably in the pit of 100 trials. That's my beat. Should have caught that. Alright. Shake this. Get out of here. Um. Let's just go piercing block. There we go. Start pushing this up. I don't want to get in another fight. Push that up, and then there we go. Made it. We go in here. That another shine sprite. That is six. That's enough to power up two party members. I only have Vivian though. And I don't think we can leave Twilight Town because remember you needed a name on your person to uh you need a name on your person just to go through the pipe and we are nameless so I don't think we can leave. So Vivian's stuck with no other abilities. Oh. Will Nintendo ever remake Super Paper Mario or uh, Color Splash? Well, they're probably not going to remake Color Splash. To be honest, uh, if they were going to do Color Splash, it would be a port. Because, you know, Wii U version. Like, a bunch of, Wii U, bunch of Wii U games got Switch versions. I will admit, uh, Super Paper Mario does have the better story than Thousand Year Door. I have not played uh, Color Splash or Origami King, so I have no clue how the story is there. Good morning. Good morning. 
Huh? What happened to those weirdos who were just here? Oh, whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows his real name. Locking me up in here just because I know it? And making me guard the name is stupid le missing letter? No way to treat a, par a parrot. I really want a cracker, Dupless. You, you're a big meanie. When's Feeny time, huh? What? Scrock? Uh, pretty bird, pretty bird. We got the letter P back. I don't know how it disappeared in the first place, though. Um, both superior sources are better. Two, uh, are way better than the TV. Are you talking about the games or the... S oh, you said story. Again, I haven't played... Color Splash or uh, Origami King. So I can't say. Will Microsoft or Sony ever acquire Nintendo? I think Microsoft or Sony is the Nintendo of the modern time. Uh, well, it's it's seeming like the, those two are not going to be making consoles. And it honestly seems like the, that's not really an issue. We heard that. We heard you, little birdie. Duplis, that's his name. Now let's get your name and body back from that mini. We'll teach you a lesser or two while they're at it. I think they both, m both Microsoft and Sony mentioned that they were going to focus more on, uh, just PC. I think they both said that. So, I think... This is what I think it is. So, I, th I think they're both going to eventually go out of the console race. And it will just be Nintendo. Oh... This is a nice quality of life. This saves on backtracking. Um. Yeah, like, it's really seeming that way. I'm not saying it's a 100% thing. But it's looking that way. Time capsule, your magazine subscriptions. Because you're getting erased. But first, please amuse me with one more guess. It really gives me joy to watch you squirm in futility as you try to guess my name. So, hit me one more time. Um, however, if we were to assume one of them would buy out Nintendo, even though they have they don't have money problems, uh, it, I'd say it would be more Microsoft than Sony, because Microsoft and Nintendo are kind of being more buddy buddy, whereas not so much with Sony. What? What did you just say? It can't be! No, 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 Why, 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 How, 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 I'm feeling faint. Now it's our turn. Let's get your name and body back. Where do you go to hide? And thanks to this shortcut, this saves on some backtracking. Oh, this saves a good chunk. But yeah, like, if if it had to be one of them to buy Nintendo, which Nintendo's not hurting for money, so it's not going to be anything like that. It would probably be Microsoft. PC handouts are cu killing Nintendo right now? Well, again, uh, Switch is... For once, the Switch is seven years old. And... So, of course, it's old tech. However, even then, it was already old tech before that, so it's hard to say. But Nintendo kind of has its own niche. Nintendo relies on gimmicks that you can't uh, get an experience in any other way. So if they stick to that or that style, I don't think they're going anywhere. Yeah, and here's the thing. A lot of games focus on graphics and and basically walking sims, I guess, that you know, a lot of the times they're not fun. Uh, or it's just like, yeah, the graphics are great, but give it a few years and it will be outdated. Whereas a lot of Nintendo stuff is usually focused on how fun it is. Um, you know what? I forgot. I don't have the ability to heal. Let's just run. We'll just use the healing spot. And if I'm correct, isn't Sony not doing as well? Because a lot of uh, 
I mean, the PS5 took a long time to sell because of scalpers and being super expensive. And then Sony's whole censorship policies is holding people back from even buying a PS5. Someone like me. Like, even if I had the money to get a PS5, I'm still hesitant on whether I want one because I don't like their censorship policies. Ghost of Tsushima, Forbidden West, Spider-Man 2. So good. Those games are so beloved nowadays over Nintendo IPs. I think you're underestimating Nintendo IPs in general. It is what it is. Yeah, I, I don't think Nintendo's going away anytime soon. Hey, you again, A-Slick. You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine. I see. I get it. Let's put an end to this, shall we? All right, kids. Put on your fighting gloves, huh? Woohoo! It's-a me! Uh, sure thing, Mario. We're right there with you. This creep couldn't take us on on his own, so he teamed up with the three minus two shadows. What? Does PC or Xbox buy any turns? I don't want to turn on Yeah, honestly... Okay, here's a, here's a thought. Uh, while I do not think Nintendo's gonna die anytime soon, and they will probably they may end up being the only console manufacturer because both both Microsoft and Sony will focus on PC more than anything else. Uh, I think Nintendo what should they might end up considering is have like. Let's just use the Switch as an example. Let's just say they have a game exclusive for the Switch for a couple years, and then port it to PC. Gives people plenty of reason to keep uh, buying Nintendo consoles, but then eventually have a PC port. But here's the thing, this is Nintendo, they probably won't do that. Uh, Sony have been having problems with PS5. It's like the Wii U of Sony. Rumor is that they are already, they're already ready to move on it and go to PS6. Oh really, I have, I haven't heard that rumor. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our new Mario. You're gonna get a taste of the pain, Gonzalo style, Shadow Guy. PS5 has sold 60 million now, but how does that compare with, like, PS4 or PS3? Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario? The guy who stole, stole your name and body is Mario. That means you're Mario. Yeah, actually. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. Um, what's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us ghoulies. Oh no, someone else has turned to a pig. Sold 60 million, but they hoped it sold so, so much more. Overall, the PS5 is cool and whatnot, but it's been underwhelming to Sony. Yeah, Sony has, Sony had higher expectations for their sales. Uh, your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me, Super Mario. Now, here's a question though: How much has the Switch sold in comparison to? Actually, let's let me look that up. Nintendo Switch. Let's just say sales, like. Total number of uh, units. I want to look at units. Uh, can we get... Um, looking for units. By the way, okay, so Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is 61.97 million copies sold. So that's their best-selling game. But, uh... So, I'm... I have a number. I don't know how accurate it is. The Switch has sold 139.36... 139 139.36 million units worldwide. Worldwide. So... What's the percentage of people who own Mario Wonder versus the, that have a Switch versus the percentage that have PS5 versus Spider-Man? And here's the thing with Spider-Man. Some people were probably waiting for the for a PC version. Interesting analysis and game experts said next year will GTA 6 will drive PS5 sales to reach. You know, we said that about Smash Ultimate with the Wii U, and that didn't really matter. 
I'm not saying it's gonna be the same thing, and I know GTA is a bigger drive than probably Smash Brothers, but we were saying the same thing with that game for the Wii U. What damage? God, that's right. You guessed my name, and now stuff hurts sometimes. Yes. Zap tap. Okay, uh, the Switch was sounding around the same time as the PS4 and Xbox One, right? Uh, yeah, the Switch was 2017, PS4 was, what, 2014, 2015? And PS5 came out after the Switch, too. Steam Deck. Now, yeah, right now the Switch's main competitor I think they need to worry about is... The Steam Deck. I think that's the main one they need to focus on. Because the Switch was a niche in what it does. Basically a console that can be portable. Or a portable that can go on the TV. Uh, because it had that niche. That some people would own one or the other when it comes to Xbox or Sony. And still have a Switch, because they kind of do different things. Not counting Nintendo exclusives really only being on the Switch, so. Sorry, sis. This Mario's the only person who's ever been kind to me. Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. If Sony PS8 is a hybrid console, then Nintendo's... They're not gonna... I don't believe they're gonna do a hybrid console. I made my choice. I'm not turning back. I know more people who own a Switch than a PS5 PlayStation system. Actually, okay, so, yeah. PS5 units sold. How many units does PS5 have? Um, I'm getting a 50 million units number. I don't know if that's accurate, but that was just a quick search. I'm reading... December of last year, PS5 has surpassed 50 million. Way more people have bought a Switch than a PS5. Actually, now that now I'm checking this out, uh, Xbox. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's like Series it's Xbox One Series X, right? It's sold. Oh, let me take a quick look. What do we got? Can I get a number? Pretty sure it's Xbox Series X, right? Um. I don't know how. I'm not really seeing a quick Microsoft One right now. I'm seeing. I'm seeing something about. Series S and X have sold a combined 21 million units. Okay. Yeah, so I think Xbox is selling worse than Sony PS5s. But you gotta consider with Xbox, if you're gonna buy an Xbox, you might want to consider getting a gaming PC because any exclusive that Xbox, Xbox has is gonna be on PC. So maybe people are less likely to get Xbox consoles because they could just get a PC. Whereas with Sony, there was still a chance that they were going to have their own exclusive to them be console only. Although, as of now, it's less likely. Um, let's just attack Mario. Oh, Jesus, whatever. Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Okay, I'm gonna need to heal. I'm not getting my time right. I uh, recently had it had that handheld console for PS5 movies. Oh wait, PS5 has a handheld? How much did that sell? Spider-Man go over Ragnarok. No one was asking for Uh, yeah, if Sony has a handheld for PS5, I this is the first I'm hearing of it. Uh, can you tell me what it is? 
Now, sweet, sweet treat. I need healing. And if it's not enough, I'm gonna have to heal with an item. Ah, uh, okay. That might be enough. Only the movie got to Sony. That's different. Movies and games are different categories. That's that's misleading. Like for example, Mario's uh, not Mario. Theme park stuff for Marvel was with Universal for the longest time, and they have different rights. That's that's different. Yeah, Sony may have the Zelda live-action movie license, but they don't have access to the games. That's completely different. <laughs> Spider-Man is PlayStation exclusive. Well, is Spider-Man 2 PlayStation exclusive right now? Because the first one is, was supposed to be exclusive, and now it's on PC. And I think Miles Morales is on PC as well. I think it is a matter of time for Spider-Man 2 to be PC. But it links to your PS5. It needs to be online all the time. Well, there's your problem right there. How dare you try to do this to the great Super Mario? How dare you? Any new Spider-Man games are PlayStation exclusive. Yes, but for how long? That's the thing. How long will they be exclusive? Remember, the, the first Spider-Man on PlayStation 4 was exclusive, but now it's on PC. So how long will it be truly exclusive? Yeah, true. If anything, it'll be exclusive for like a few years, and then it'll eventually go to PC. Because they, they did that all the time. Final Fantasy VII Remake was... PlayStation exclusive for a year, and then it became then it was available on PC. Crack! I almost had it. Super Mario's hurting. Thanks, defense boost. No, they just have access to the movies. Sony just only has access to make a Zelda movie. They don't have access to make anything else. It's basically the same thing. No, again, they only have access to make a Zelda movie. That's it. They don't have access to make uh, Zelda games. Unless there's something I over... Unless there's, like, a report that says otherwise. It frees out itself to give Sony access to Zelda. Yeah. They only have access to the movie, nothing else. Oh, wow! Double EXP! Sweet! That's a second one for this uh, run. But, um... It's like saying... Uni so Universal technically has... Either a game company or they publish stuff, right? That doesn't mean they have access to make a Mario game. They just have the uh, Illumination and Universal have the access to make a movie. That's it. They don't have access to make games. Again, when Marvel when Marvel was first picked up by Disney, you could see Marvel stuff at Universal stuff in theme parks because those are different types of rights. And this is the same thing. Rats, you kill joys. Yeah, run away in terror. Still very popular series with diverse gameplay in each game. Nintendo knows that too well. I'll check, but I doubt they'll give someone so many practice. Yeah, can someone double check for me? I am pretty sure they only have the ability to make a movie and that's it. Wait, just what the heck is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario? Did we just get shell winked? How could I ever mistake our dear Mario for another? You have our deepest apologies. 
So who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the three sh uh, three shadows you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair up with one of those creeps? Well, I, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, Mario, thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? Huh? Listen, Mario, sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you have me. Viv Vivian has really joined your party now. This is for you. They only collaborating for the Zelda movie. Unless they become friends over a movie, I doubt they'll work together for a Zelda game. Yeah, uh... Can, uh... Popcorn Dog, can you post a link of the... Where you find it? Where you found that info? Can you still play Zelda? Yes! Gamers still play Zelda. <laughs> Games are not all about graphics. Honestly, the only, like... Fanboys that I see complain about graphics is like basically the Microsoft and Sony people. When you t when when you look at the Nintendo fan base, yeah, you'll see people be like, yeah, this is underpowered. It could look better. But a lot of, a lot of us say like, is the game good? Yes, then we'll play. It. Like, that would be cool, but yeah. Mario defeated Mario defeated the rogue who had stolen his name and appearance. Mario has four crystal stars. That leaves a mere three more to find. And that means his crest to collect all the crystal stars is more than half over. Now Mario heads off towards his next next adventure with his new friend, Vivian. But what about Golden and Mario? And what became of the double gainer, Dupless? Find out later. Also, by the way, uh, I think this month Nintendo's gonna talk about what their next console is going to be. I think they said that. So I'm curious on what that's going to be. Uh, Vivian, so very late. Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? Uh. Here we go. Off to Peach. Now, let me take a look. So yeah, GameSpot. Uh, when was this posted? January of this year. Uh, Sony hypes up Nintendo and Legend of Zelda movie. Uh, to hype up the film, really some... Sony Pictures... Sony Pictures specifically, not the game division of Sony Interactive Entertainment, is producing a Zelda movie alongside... They, they had a partnership. Silver Shigeru Miyamoto is overseeing the film. Uh, that's all that's really said. But it says Sony Pictures specifically, not Sony Interactive Entertainment. They've only made a deal with the movie division, nothing else. Movies are literally 50 50, and they'll be good at them. The next Madden web. Exactly. But again, it says Miyamoto's going to be keeping an eye on it, kind of like with the Mario movie. So, we'll see. Are you sure about this? Speak up, Epsonaut. <laughs> yes, sir. Quite sure. I poured all over our research on the Thousand Year Door. And it appears the ceiling power has definitely been weakening, as Bellum said. <laughs> Finally, the treasure of legend. The ancient power of darkness will soon be ours. Listen and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, the meddling scum. Got it, sir. Soon I will have the power that has slipped for a millennium. So very soon. Chris Pratt as Zelda and not Nicholas and Nicholas Cage as Link. Chris Pratt is Zelda? <laughs> okay. And Nicholas Cage as Link. No, you want to be on it. I'm going to be honest right here. It's going to be Tom Holland as Link. You know that for a fact. It's going to be Tom Holland as Link. When that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. And I will kneel before the x not regime. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. You know I am right, though. You know they are going to do that. Can Sony get Tom Holland? Yes, because they make the Spider-Man movies, and they made Un Uncharted, which had Tom Holland. 
You know they will do that. Timothy, uh, Chem Chemlin? I don't know who you're talking about right there for Timothy. But yeah, you know for a fact they're going to choose Tom Holland. You know for a fact they will. A perfect ideal world. Yes, a world made by me. About me. And for me. The Doom guy? Oh, okay. I don't know how he would be as a Link, but let's be honest here. They're not picking actors just because they are best for the role. They're picking actors because of how well known they are. Tech, did you call me? It's why, it's why Chris Pratt is Mario. <laughs> what shall I do today? Will it be dancing, perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I, I am conflicted. Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important? Carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? By the way, uh, who... What company made Doom? Was it Sony or was it a different company? Which is more important? Carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do. Really? What do you mean? No, no, never mind. Please forget my musings. Jason Momoa is... Oh my god, Jason Momoa is Ganondorf. <laughs> I was going to say, who should be Ganondorf? I do not know why, but it will make me feel unpleasant if I were to make you worry. Well, in any case... You can intend those probably hard? I don't think so. Well, I don't think they are. They've been doing well. The Switch has sold very well. We just need to... What's really going to cement everything is what their next console is going to be and how that goes. Let's have a quiz. A quiz? That is right. I'm about to ask you a series of questions. Please choose the correct answer among three options. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question... What will happen if you collect the seven crystal stars? A thousand your door opens. Correct. Now, the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, the leader of Exonx? To conquer the world. Correct. Now, third question. What is the legendary treasure that awaits behind the thousand your door? Tech, is this. Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? Oh, right, it's technically these are on screen. Thousand year old demon soul. Correct. Now for the fourth question. What does Sir Grotish wish to do with the ancient demon shul soul? Just he just wants to hang out with it. So, bring the demon. That is true. As long as they have Fortnite and Minecraft on their next console, they'll probably do fine. Star Fox, DK, Guys Eternal, Darkness Moves. Okay, you just punch out. Yes, I do agree that there needs to be more done with some of their other IPs. But look at the games that they did make and how well they sold. Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, Mario Odyssey, all those. They made a lot of big games that sold very well. Yes, Nintendo does have a problem with forgetting about IPs. But those, ga those games that they did make sold well. I want another DK game. I want people to get their F-Zero. I want Kid Icarus to come back. Golden Sun, yes. So they keep making bangers every year? Like what? What game has they made? They always get game of the year. Oh please. We know we know those are like bought and paid for. Kind of, kind of like, you know, the movie industries like in their not in their uh, movie awards. Now the fifth question. What is required to sear out the demon again? Crystal stars. I'm now I'm still waiting for the next Spyro game and crash. You have correctly answered all five questions. No, you may use the communicator. Yeah, that is true. Sony didn't make those. That's fair. Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please put the message you wish to send. Uh, okay. 
Okay, I'm done. Could you send it? The message has been sent. That's all for now. Please go back to the room. And it's not like... So yeah, Sony has dead franchises too. Jack and Daxter hasn't got a new game in years. Sly Cooper hasn't got a new game since 2013. Uh, how many other games have no have Sony have left dead? Legend of Dragoon is still dead. Still want something like this. Yeah, we still want something about those games with both Sony and Nintendo. We're not denying that. It's just how well are the games that they are making selling. And Nintendo still has well-sold games. My lord, I've received reports of a great uh, secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's find the cheap... Uh, let's ride the cheap blimp there. Come on now. Hmm? Again, Mario Kart has sold well. Mario Kart has sold well. Animal Crossing has sold well. Smash Brothers has sold well. No, they haven't. They have not been flopping. Mario Kart 8 has sold 61 million copies. It has not... Uh, sold, it has not flopped. Oh yeah, Par Parappa the Rapper is also a dead franchise. You there. Two tickets. One great and evil king and one sweet young thing. Gravy! Bowser! The evil king and the deluded old hag! Uh, life's too short. Metroid, Peach, Bayonetta, Astro Chains, and Blade all flopped. Have they flopped? Do we know their budget and how much they sold in comparison? Because that's what truly makes a difference on whether something flops or not. Although, like, Peach might be a little bit too... They sold less than 10 million. How much was their budget in comparison? And also, Astro Train? Yeah, I forgot about that one, so... Yeah, be fair there. I'm pretty sure Arms didn't do that well. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you! You impudent little cheapskate. Okay, don't make another intro. I think 4 was glorious. Yeah. I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimp. Uh, wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this baby. I'll s I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problem. Problem. You go easy on your old lips and take the slow ride onto the blimp ground. Wait, Lord Bowser, please. I know. Uh. Are you talking... I think I know who you're talking about, Hawkorn Dog, but wasn't that a side game, like, on the PSP or something? No, PSP had, like, a... Uh, something else. Yeah, I think I know what game you're talking about, Hawkorn Dog. I don't know how well that did. Uh, warning light. Oh, don't tell me! Oh, it's PS4. Hmm. Yeah, how well did that do? Silverblade is mega successful PS5 exclusive. Yeah, I hear Silverblade is doing really good right now. One thing that did help is that they uh, actually uncensored it, though. I'm not saying PS5 doesn't have a good library. I'm just saying that saying Nintendo's gonna die because... Yeah, because it... I don't know why you keep saying, thinking Nintendo's gonna die. Was it so pretty? Yeah, they uncensored it. This one tech is outdated. That doesn't mean they didn't sell well. Switch has sold way more than PS5. Tech may be outdated, but it's still sold very well. That doesn't. It doesn't matter if the tech is outdated. How much did it sold? It's out. Again, the real question is what their next one is going to be. That's going to what be what it truly defines what Nintendo is going to be going forward. Right, if you're too big, you destroy that, so you have to take this. But here's the thing. Nintendo's not struggling. So it's they're not going to be bought by anyone anytime soon. 
Doesn't Nintendo sell a lot of toys as well? Yes. And you also got to remember, they have Pokemon. Sure, it's... They have Pokemon, and Pokemon is the best-selling... It's the best-selling media franchise. Yes, Pokemon... Like, doesn't... Eh, Pokemon has its problems. But Pokemon still sells really well. Even how... Even though the games haven't been doing good, Pokemon has still been doing really well. Sadly. Dude. I'm being realistic here. Yes, Power World has done a lot better because of how Pokemon has been treated lately. But Pokemon has still been selling very well. And that's just the games. Pokemon is the is the is the merchandise, the anime, the cards, they're all doing well. And that go that goes into Nintendo Nintendo's pocket too. There you are, Lord Bowser. What are you what are you doing here? But looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been? You sogginess. <laughs> I don't want Pokemon to die. I want Pokemon to get fixed. Yeah, I don't know anything about Pokemon Sleep. That's a mobile game. But sadly, you know what sold well? Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Those did, those did well. Even though they have major problems. Game card, no one cared about that. Game card? What game card are you talking about? Swimming. Really? Neat? As for me, Blitzfield was fantastic. The fights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking at what my mama gave me. And then, the hot dogs. Oh my gracious. Yum. Yummerly. Yummerly. Okay. You, you have fun, too. Hmm. Pokemon still sell well. Pokemon's still the number one media franchise. I don't know what you're talking about. It's terrible. You hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper. I wanted to have fun. Pokemon card uh, section is going well. They have a strong fan base because it's Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon. Uh, kids still play Pokemon. Kids and adults still play Pokemon. Yes. Genshin does. Kids play Genshin too. Like It's like they can't. They can still play both. Give me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars. Now! And yeah. Guess what? Kids played Halo. Kids played Call of Duty. Pokemon still sells uh, does way sells way more merch than them. <laughs> Can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. So sorry, Mario. After you have done for this town, did we hurt your feelings? Eh, not really. You're a bigger man than I, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town, Twilight Town. Thank you. Twilight Town thanks you. There we go. Hey, Mario, we need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit anytime you like. Again, Nintendo's not going anywhere anytime soon. We'll see what the next console does and how that does. That's really going to change everything. That's really going to decide many things. That's, yeah. What do we got? Oh yeah, Peach, right. My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The Xnox plan to use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they hope so they can open the thousand year door and unseal the demon spirit. Those same crystal stars can also be used to reseal it. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario. We must put a stop to their horrible plans. Peach. Ah, ancient Demon Spirit. Hey, actually, the Steam Deck, if anything, is like major competition for them. Because that's like direct the direct gimmick that they, t that they have been doing. So, yeah, if anything, they have to worry about the Steam Deck. And that's what I'm saying, like... And I'm pretty sure I read some, heard somewhere that Microsoft and Sony are thinking of just dropping out of the console and stop making consoles and just put everything on PC. If that is true, and I need to look at, I need to look into it. To be fair, if that is true, then and Nintendo still stays with consoles, they're just going to keep making games, and Microsoft and Sony just won't make consoles. I don't know how true that is. I need to look into it. To be fair, I just remember hearing about that a while back.
more and more people are buying PCs nowadays. And Nintendo. By the way, how well did that Ratchet & Clank game on PS5 sell? That's also on PC now. I don't believe... Save Nintendo. Does Nintendo even need saving? Nintendo's not in a rut right now. This isn't the Wii U era. People still buy Switches even though they are underpowered. Because they make quality games. Again. Again, if either if it was either one of them, it would be Microsoft. The location of the Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. Again, I think the Steam Deck is going to be their major competition right now, actually. Let's cruise on to the professor's office. We have to tell that guy about the princess's email. Oh, yeah. Please save, please save Nintendo. <laughs> hey, Juice, how's it going? What? what? Uh, that was written in the princess, Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of the ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the crystal stars to open the thousand-year door and resurrect it? How bone-chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. Come on, give it up, Professor. What did you find out? This is rather long, so you better best listen well. Are all you ready? And you! And you there, in front of that screen, you listen up to Sony would drop like 8% of Nintendo franchises. Xbox would drop everything except Pokemon, Mario, and Zelda. Right. Did everyone pile drive your... Uh, did someone pile drive your head or what? I don't see any screen here. Professor Poindexter. Huh, never you mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that destroyed the city which once stood here may re well refer to this demon. It's said that the seven crystal stars were actually created by that monster. Just been enjoying the sun on your day off. You know, going out and touch grass, that's not a bad idea. Uh, I would, but it's actually raining over here. Although I usually try to give my dog a uh, walk. Although if the weather stays okay right now, I might, I might still do that. But I try to give her a walk when I can. And that... That's this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to the legend, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes, but only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So, the heroes used the crystal stars, which they had stolen from the demon, and they sealed its wicked spirit with the palace of shadow locked behind the thousand year door. From this, I gather the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determine if they are used for good or evil. Eh, then isn't it possible that we shouldn't gather these crystal stars? Just been grinding some Pokemon Go mods, of course. Uh, you said you got hooked, you got back into that, didn't ya? Maybe we ought to just stomp the heck out of them and throw the pieces away. That was my first thought, too. But further research suggests we can't do that. Those IPs are still important today. Oh. It doesn't matter if they're important or not. Do do those do those games sell well? And they sell well, so it's doing well. Do I want G DK and other games to come back? Yes. But the game the games have been they have been making up and selling well. Seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once in a thousand years pass, the power will keep the door sealed shut will fail. Unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the Exonox fail. Let's roll then. To seal the demon, we ought to get the rest of those crystal stars. Where's the next one at? According to the map, it appears to be somewhere in Keyhole Key. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it... First of all, I still want to look at a more accurate number of how many Xboxes Series X has been sold. I can't find that number right now. Now I think about it. Spider-Man... Uh... Two... 
He has five. I want to look at units sold. How many units has that game sold? 2.5 million copies sold. Wait, hold on. Can we get a... Okay, 40 million copies for uh, Spider-Man 2. Okay. Again. Uh, Kirby is still pretty cool. Yeah, you know, they still make Kirby games. And they sell pretty well, too. We all key. I'm not too familiar with, with the place. I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff. Vegetable spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head out there. Yeah, they still make Kirby games. They sell... I think they sell relatively okay. Well, or rather, the great Gonzalez. I realized that I never thank you for handling my requests, so I decided to email you. I never thought of a moment that you, a former champion, would end up taking care of the wrestling trunks for me. After you left here, know what Mush said to me? He said, there are some things that can only be understood by fighting. He's an odd one, Mush. He's actually training now. Yes, he's planning a comeback. Was Splatoon any good? Splatoon sold well, I think. Splatoon is also one of their better selling IPs right now, if I remember correctly. Uh, let me see if I can find something. Uh... Uh, you should try. Uh, you should come by the Glitz Pit if you get some time. You're just the type of star that the fans crave, you know. Thanks. Take care, Jolene. Or take care, Jolene. Let's see. Um, let's see. Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Soul and Shield. Where is Splatoon? It's pretty far. Uh, Splatoon three has a sold eleven point ninety six million. But that's also competing with Splatoon 2. Where's Splatoon 2? I thought I... Hmm. Where is it? Sorry, I don't have it on screen. I'm just kind of looking on my laptop right now. Um, just a quick, quick search. Um, okay. Uh, I don't see Splatoon 2 on here. Hold on. I must have passed it. Uh... But yeah, I'm looking at the top 10 best-selling Switch games. The top 9 have sold over 20 million. With Mario Kart 8 being 61 point million. Uh... And a good chunk of these are Pokemon. Splatoon 2, 13.6 million. Okay, so you combine that with Splatoon 3, and they're kind of similar. If you were to combine them, that'd be over 20 million. About 25. When is ARMS getting a sequel? That game did not do well. It's not getting a sequel. Or if it is, next console, maybe? I don't know. Yes, hello to you. I am Bubbler. I have been unable to forget that savory hot dog, fa savory hot dog flavor. My taste buds are sweating in anticipation of your next spicy visit. By the way, have you heard? Dry bouquets are not flowers that have withered and gone dry. They are actually flowers that have had their had the clocks on their lives adjusted to tick just a little slower than no more flowers. I hope you will take the time to stop and smell these delicate flowers. In fact, I would like you to come visit me again when the above mentioned item is yours in spiciness. Blah, blah, blah. All right, we have the cookbook. Let's go gift that over. So, let's hand that over. Okay, listen to this. I got a lowdown on a book that could turn anyone into a master chef. I went to the trouble center in the east part and recruited some... Oh, okay. So anyway, did you need me to cook something, Mr. Bumblefoot? That, okay, so I need to do the trouble first. I think I guess I have a little bit of time. Yeah, arms is not. I don't. I don't see arms happening. That did not do well. Okay. I don't know how many troubles we take care of. Hold on. What do we got? Okay. 
I'm dip I might save that one. We'll take care of this very quick. I want you to go find the legendary cookbook for me. It's in this pretty scary place. So there's no way an old gal like me can get it alone. Please come to my house and go for it square for details. But yeah, out of PlayStation 5 and Xbox, it seems like PlayStation 5 is doing better than Xbox in terms of sales. However, like Hot Corn Dog said, uh, they were expecting even higher sales, so to them it might be considered a failure because they were expecting more Xbox sales than what they actually are. And two, Xbox, on Xbox side, if people are considering Xbox, they're most likely considering PC. So a lot of people that want Xbox are probably be like, you know what, let's just get a PC. Why get a current day Xbox when they could basically do the same thing? Ages ago, there was a great legendary chef ma named Maitre Delish. Rumor has it, you instantly become a better chef by reading his book. Unfortunately, it's an old book that's hard to find. Stores don't carry it. I've recently heard that someone who who used to live in Creepy Steeple had a copy. There are many secrets, secret rooms in Creepy Steeple, so it's moldering, so it's moldering there somewhere. I just have to get my hands on that book and read it. Help me out, Stubble Bum. That's one person, boy, fire emblem. So the franchise is doing <laughs> boomy to the one person. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, get more people to play Fire Emblem, I guess. That's it. That's the book my by Maitre Delish. Give it here, quick. Ah, I, I see. Aha! Done. I've got it now. Just, just glaze a mushroom with honey syrup for a yummy honey mushroom. Brilliant! Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients. Now that's some book. Talk about effective. Thanks, Mr. Staggers. Take this as your reward. Yay, honey mushrooms. Now I can make some better stuff. There we go. Fire Emblem Engage has good gameplay, but the story sucked. Oh, this new product's right there. Look no further. Uh, we're gonna engage to put on cell charts. Kirby and Font, Rotten, man. Huh, oh, okay. Uh. Freeze, where is Engage? Yeah, Fire Emblem is not a big a, a, a big franchise among them, that's for sure. Where's the numbers? Engage. Ah, there it is. Uh, 1.61 million. Where is three houses? I think that's farther out. This three houses was doing really well. Sorry, eyes. Sorry, sort HD. Three houses, four point four point twelve million. Yeah, three houses sold way better. The graphical fidelity the most about versus the others. Hmm. I don't know because if Microsoft and Sony are just gonna go to PCs anyway, then Nintendo like has no competition. And as long as they keep exclusives like they have been, I think I might save that. Then if people want to play Mario, they have to buy their Switch or whatever console they have. It doesn't matter. What the doesn't what, matter what the graphical fidelity is. If you want to play their stuff? You have to get their console. Now I would like. Now, like, I would still like like I don't know Mario Odyssey with like the graphical fidelity of modern stuff, but I'm not denying that. I'm just saying like 
Nintendo prioritizes, is it fun more than graphical fidelity? Yeah, I bet it does. Again, Steam Deck is going to be their main competitor. No, I can't power up anymore. What do we got? What can Vivian do? Um, I don't really know what else can Vivian do. I'm trying to think if like I could grab something new, but I don't think I can. Actually, it's probably more the tube ability. I can grab more stuff. Well, let's check the shortcut. that we have the next crystal star a new shortcut which I don't think was ever here yeah this is a new one let's go let's see where this actually takes me So, I don't think this is that big of a shortcut, considering where the the normal pipe is. Granted, if you want to get to Creepy Steeple, sure, this is a really good one. And with how the warp pipes are, it's still a good uh, location altogether. But that's not as big of a improvement as, say, adding the Glitzville one. So what else, can, what else can I do? We could go find Luigi and see what he has to say. Okay, where is Luigi? Oh, you know what? He might be at the docks. guy still hasn't found oil yet. Where is he? Is he not over here? Nope, he's not here. Where is he? Engage was fun. The soundtrack was cool too. Yeah, Engage just had an awful, awful story. Really did. And yeah, when you compare the sales of Engage versus Three Houses, there's a clear difference. Uh, like a good three million, give or take. Three houses did very well. Then again, three houses was right when the switch was starting out. Maybe it was because of the multiple uh, stories that people were interested in. Uh, maybe with Engage, they didn't like the, the design of uh, Colgate Chan. Or maybe people just kind of moved on with the switch nowadays. I don't know. What do we got here? Oh, wow. Two more. Let's go see what you have to say. In order to increase its from already formidable power, the demon created crystal stars to hold the essence of the heavens. And the, the game started skipping cutscenes. It was horrid. Throughout the game, the story wasn't good. <laughs> These stars were scattered across the land, the better to exert the demon's influence. One of the coastline... That one of the castles built to contain these stars still stands near Petal Meadow. So, the crystal stars have a bit of the demon's power within them. And they went. They scattered around the land just so they could spread their evil a little bit better. The power of the world devouring demon was greater than any could imagine. But the wise Goomba soon realized that this was the power of the Crystal Stars. She thought of a way to take the stars and use it against the demon. She told the other heroes her plan and set it into motion, banishing their fears. The Boo's magic and the Toad's strength created a gap in the demon's defenses. At that moment, the brave Koopa seized the stars and succeeded in badly damaging the demon. 
By the way, isn't, like, Fire Emblem Heroes selling very well and it still makes a lot of money? Even the brave Koopa, uh, Koopa's stroke was not enough to end the demon's reign. The wise Goomba thought of another use for the Crystal Stars in that dire hour. She suggested sealing the demon forever with the Crystal Stars. All agreed. The heroes matched their strength with the power of the Crystal Stars and successfully sealed the demon's soul within the demon's deepest part of the house. Easy money phone game. Checking the sales exactly, but the fact that uh, that's still up and not Mario Kart or uh, what was the there was the Dragalia loss, which I keep forgetting was a Nintendo thing. But didn't they shut down the Mario Kart one? <laughs> yeah, you might have to start over, Juice. However, they made it so that only so that only all seven stars could break the seal. After the demon was sealed within the palace of shadow, many refused to come near that place of terror. But as the years passed, entire generations forgot, and the penniless and the immoral began to congregate in this lost blue land. This place soon became the populous harbor, the town of Rokeport. And some even began to say that the underground city held a legendary treasure. But they were unaware that the demon slept be beneath them still. Our mobile was fun and looked good, but the controls were just not nothing. Yeah, I tried it. I I tried like a uh, for like a day or two. I did not like the controls. Like sometimes I would swipe to turn, but nothing would happen, and I would get frustrated. Uh, Fire Emblem Heroes sold 3.6 million in April alone, or just in total. Where's Luigi? He's here somewhere. Actually, what does Darkly have to say? Hey, it's me, Darkly. I like dim places, yeah? So I was Twilight Town. Don't you love how dim and weird it is there? I haven't been back in ages. I should go back as go, go back there soon for a visit. But yeah, Hawkhorn Dog did sell that much in April alone, or is that just the total as of April? Where is Luigi? Oh, you know what? He, he might be in the end or something. There he is. Uh, let's get... Bella? April alone, apparently. And if that's pretty consistent, yeah, Nintendo makes money off of that. Well, I headed to the Circuit Break Island and got me a marvelous compass, compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty exciting, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that they hold kart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets, the, gets to rule the island as king for that day. Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes! Right there, on the trophy! They gave it to the winner! It was another piece of the marvelous compass! I almost passed dead! I almost passed dead away! I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was enter the next race. March was four million? Wow, yeah. I mean, I've driven in kart races before, so I thought it'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was like anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right out there, prompt, right out of there pronto. These drivers were crazed, but I worked up my courage and signed up anyway. And my race day finally came. And I got one of the best carts, the big green 01. I took my position and at the start line. The light went green, I stomped the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse! The big green 101 went ro rocketing backwards to me, yelling. I crashed into the wall be behind me hard enough to, uh, to cut me off mid-scream. In one fell swoop, I dropped into the last dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. 
All the other carts crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. Took, uh, I took the piece off of my trophy and added it to the Marvel's compass. The compass came to life and pointed me toward toward ja uh, Jazafras Town in the east. Then I heard that voice. Princess Eclair Eclair's voice is echoed into my echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess! Random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice. I would most I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Um, so after that, I got back on my boat. I came back to Rokeboy, and that's where what's been up with me. Year of Luigi's over. It's funny how the Year of Luigi lasted longer than a year. <laughs> so like a year and like three or four months. Oh, Switch 2 gets Minish Cap with hyper realistic <laughs> uh, graphics. Exactly. Actually, Minish Cap in the Link's Awakening style wouldn't be too bad. June 9th, Black Ops 6 trailer. Can't win. Oh, really? Hmm. Uh, again, this month, Nintendo is supposed to talk about what their next console is going to be. Yeah, I'm Torque, and don't for a second think this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I let him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in for one second before he completely tolls it. Idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 coin repair costs. That's Luigi's pal Torque. I hear he's, like, a totally excellent mechanic. According to the me Mechanics Weekly, that tool on his back can basically do anything. He seems ticked off, though. I wonder what happened. Let's see. Uh, let's check the badge so shop and see what's here. The fold? <laughs> yeah, instead of the switch, we got the fold. First, ac first attack, I smash... Last end, close call, super appeal. Another sleepy stomp, shrink stomp, head rattle, that causes confusion. Another damage dodge. Hmm, what do we want? Yeah, you know what? This will make backtracking a little easier. I already have an ice smash. Apparently, if you have two of the same badge and you st and you equip multiple. I think it will cost more BP, but it will be a stronger attack. I think that's how it works. Um, let's see. I think I'll get a another damage dodge. There we go. That's where my coins would get into. So what I can do is I can unequip my defend plus and go with go with two damage dodges instead. Oops, there we go. I still have still have plenty of work. Uh, I could throw an Ice Smash just to have something. If I'm sticking with Hammer Man. Um... Oh, wow, that's a free... That's free! Huh! I don't remember that being free. Uh, item hog, I guess. Sure, why not? Gonna work? Well, let's see. There is one... Okay. There is one more time. Missed the rematch. What rematch? Oh, yeah, the rematch with Dubless. Yeah, you missed it. Uh, with power lift, it was not... It was no big deal. Did you beat up... No, I didn't beat up all of Mario's buddies. Uh... You know, when you only have 10 HP, I wasn't sh too sure if I should have continued. But maybe I should have, I don't know. I could have done that, though. But I did it! Forget back the stuff. Hmm. Uh, let's see. There is one other tattle we could do. Well, there was new dialogue. That was a good point. There could have been new dialogue. That's on me! I'm failed as a streamer. I didn't see the new dialogue. But anyway, time to reload. Oh no, but I already saved. It auto saves. So anyway, we got this one uh, tattle right here. Short answer: that they uh, it wants me to go to Hooktail Castle. However. 
if we wait one more chapter, just look on YouTube, exactly. If we wait one more chapter, we'll then be able to get something else in Hooktail Castle. Off with my head. Oh no! You know, I messed up on the dialogue. I guess it's, I guess it's done for me. It's donezo. Uh. But yeah, if we wait one more chapter, we can, uh, save a trip to Hooktail Castle by getting two things done there at once. So the question, is, but the reward that we get for doing the tattle now. I won't say it's like a great reward, but it's definitely a reward that may be worth getting. Using one more week of... Oh, uh, Pokemon Go, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're almost at the level cap act. So, I'm thinking of saving... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of saving the trouble for after this next chapter so that way we don't have to do two backtracking trips to Hooktail. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, I thought there would be another trouble, but that's not the case. Um, but I actually have a couple things to take care of. So I gotta wrap it up now. I'm sorry. Can't really go any further. Thanks for everyone who showed up. Uh, I do these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scottbot64 Stream Archives. Yeah, we you know, had a little debate about uh, modern consoles and where they're going, but I appreciate the I appreciate the discussion, even if we disagree on things. That's just how discussions work. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's, it's too bad you'd show up. So. It's too bad I couldn't really continue, but I think I only have this problem for today at the moment. But yeah, uh, tomorrow we're going to do Chapter 5, and we're saving the trouble for after Chapter 5. Anyway, have a good day.